Restored Republic via GCR. Judy Note, people have asked me what it is like living here in Utah in view of all the information that has come out lately about the satanic ritual abuse perpetrators embedded in Utah legal entities and government. I tell them it's no different than anywhere else. Everyone lives in their own little bubble and don't want to admit that children are being raped and murdered right next door. Perpetrators are everywhere no matter where you live. The ritual abuse of children by satanic covens is rampant and spread throughout the nation, throughout the world. We just have scratched the surface here in Utah. Others need to start scratching where they live, and realize it might be happening right next door. We all need to watch for the signs and help save the children. Q was created long ago in 1861st of April when 20 generals placed Abraham Lincoln into office to fight the Khazarian Mafia who created the slave trade and owned 99% of the U.S. slaves. Today this battle is coming to an end, Trump Q. Q the storm, Christmas Eve 1963 was the day 77 U.S. generals came together and the plan was born to save the world. In March three months later 133 generals became part of underscore op. Freedom Eagle 35. You are a witness to 58-year military delta coming in hot 2014 plus 22 nations underscore 1,600 generals and CSIC. EQ plus, I demand equal time. Pics will surface of Hussein holding AK-47 in tribal attire. One of many. Net shut down. Fake pic push by MSM. Videos, backup. Google kill. YouTube kill. FB kill. Twitter kill. Yahoo kill. Bing kill. Instagram kill. Net will be paused. Hammer dot on the clock, Q. Thursday 14th of March White Hat Intel, follow resignations. The child abductions for satanic rituals, e Haiti and other third world countries, are paused, not terminated until players in custody. We pray every single day for God's guidance and direction as we are truly up against pure evil, Q. Trump is Commander-in-Chief of U.S. Incorporated Military and President of the U.S. Republic, with John F. Kennedy Jr. as VP according to a Trump voice recording on CBK Telegram Sunday 20th of November. 2022 7.50 p.m. EST. November 29, 2022. Thursday 14th of March South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Côte d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso are experiencing major internet outages and blackouts, reports BBC. What is happening in Nigeria is of interest. The Nigerian authorities, having introduced the digital Naira and strictly limited the circulation of cash, limits have been set on cash withdrawals from ATMs, by the way, which still requires the Internet. In the conditions of a fallen Internet, they are actually dooming the country to collapse, since non-cash transfers are again tied to the availability Internet. A Timeline Friday 15th of March was the deadline to fund the U.S. government which, according to the Federal Reserve, was already $34 trillion in debt, rises by $1 trillion every 100 days and owes Social Security recipients another $175 trillion. While Biden's budget includes $289 billion to build illegal migrants housing out of his $7.3 trillion in new spending. The system is unsustainable. Banks can no longer give loans on the fiat U.S. dollar. Fulford sources in the Japanese imperial family say the 15th is the date for a financial black swan event. On Friday 15th of March the U.S. government would run out of monies, while the new gold-slash-asset-backed U.S. note could be available to the general public and replace the old Federal Reserve fiat U.S. dollar in ATM machines. It was also likely that on that same Friday 15th of March restitution and rebate monies will begin to be paid out and Social Security increases will begin. Monday 1st of April Final dance make backups, be ready, 0322-0328, Mr. Pool on Telegram March 11, 2024. Judy Note, is Mr. Pool talking about the EBS starting on Friday 22nd of March and going to the end of the month? Monday 1st of April is the Julian calendar New Year's Day, and perhaps release of the GCR to the general public. Saturday 6th of April was the date some believe was Christ's actual birthday. Monday 8th of April Solar Eclipse, the Oklahoma National Guard will have guardsmen present for the total solar eclipse on April 8. 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear unit will be housed. Residents are being urged to stock up with one to two weeks of food in advance of the event. Communication facilities could become overloaded, possibly making cell phone calls difficult. Monday 8th of April be ready for lights out, new Richie from Boston. 
March 13, 2024, April 8, be ready for lights out, last call, Monday 8th of April emergency, what no one's telling you about April 8th emergency. B Global Currency Reset, Thursday 14th of March Bruce, military sources were saying we should have the Supreme Court decision about 2020 election fraud by or before noon Friday 15th of March. Notifications for Tier 4B to set redemption appointments to come out after that announcement or around Friday afternoon 15th of March or Saturday morning 16th of March. Either will allow us to set appointments for Saturday 16th of March. Trump could be back as president by this weekend. Neeser may come in this weekend. Wednesday 13th of March Texas Snake, well it is positive about what the CBI has stated will occur either tomorrow Thursday 14th of March or the next day on Friday 15th of March but based upon the current time I will not have answers until the early morning hours. The exchange agents for the banker are all on call to begin emails or phone calls to begin scheduling appointments. The best is yet to come. This is the last week we will face all the lies prepared by Biden. Should I reveal everything? Time is up, Biden, restricted media on Telegram 2's. March 12, 2024 Wednesday 12th of March Marks my bondholder had an appointment today and left the appointment with an NDA, two Iraqi contacts said that Iraq was absolutely done and they were just waiting for the U.S. Treasury to give them the go. A Chase Bank story. Guy went into Chase and met privately with a wealth manager. They discussed Iraq dinar and the manager just came out of his fifth meeting on dinar rates. The guy asked when the manager thought he would see the release dinar rate. The manager said in the next three days. Twos. 12th of March Wolverine exclusive leak, 400,000 Wells Fargo emails generate massive liquidity with Zimbons and Nizra. In an unprecedented move that is expected to shake the financial world, Wells Fargo and HSBC are about to begin a massive release of liquidity. A move that is as audacious as it is profitable. This is a secret operation that could change the economic landscape forever. The plan. Sending over 400,000 emails to currency and bond holders providing them with the golden keys to a treasurer that is hiding in plain sight. Monday 11th of March Digital Financial Asset Announcement, Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a law allowing firms in the country to use digital financial assets including the digital ruble and international payments on March 11th. Moscow has fast-tracked the bill in an apparent bid to help domestic companies use digital tokens and CBDCs to evade sanctions. Thursday 14th of March The Cosmic Blueprint, Nizera and Jazar's Astrological Genesis and Start Time, Jupiter and Uranus Conjunction and Taurus Energy. Astrologer Salvador Russo. See Thursday March 14th 2024 Bruce, The Big Call, military sources were saying we should have the Supreme Court decision about 2020 election fraud by or before noon Friday 15th of March. Notifications for Tier 4B to set redemption appointments to come out after that announcement or around Friday afternoon 15th of March or Saturday morning 16th of March. Either will allow us to set appointments for Saturday 16th of March. Trump could be back as president by this weekend. Trust accounts need to be set up within 10 days after your appointment. As of Monday 11th of March there was no more fiat US dollars being used anywhere in the world except for the US. Here in the U.S. the fiat dollar will only be good until July 4, 2024. The USTN will be issued in the U.S. by the end of the month. The Fed is dead. The IRS is almost gone. We will be on a consumption tax of tax on new goods bought, except for food and medicine. Nizera may come in this weekend. D. Recent GCR history on Thursday 22nd of February the cabal capitulated, followed by Trump releasing the final phase of the plan, which was mass arrests. Those arrests were hoped to be completed by Friday 15th of March. On Saturday 23rd of February, 2024 the World Trade Organization announced that Iraq have completed all requirements to be accepted as a member including having set their new Iraqi dinar rate, which the next day on Wednesday 28th of February, the Central Bank of Iraq announced as $3.47. Then the dinar went live on back screens of the Forex for $2.70 and began fluctuating upward in value. By Thursday 29th of February at around 7 p.m. EST Iraqi Prime Minister al-Sadani formally announced that the dinar was asset-backed and Iraq had officially joined BRICS. On Friday 1st of March, with various countries' new currency rates having been agreed upon, Iraq officially joined other BRICS nations for the global currency reset, exactly one year, March 2023.
after the new quantum financial system went live on the Starlink satellite network. On Thursday 7th of March after actor Biden's State of the Nation address, President Trump hit the green light that released the new gold-slash-asset-backed U.S. Treasury note to the world. E-Global Financial Collapse, Charlie Ward, Banking Collapse Unveils Shocking Connections to Tribunals and War Crimes. Prepare for the unthinkable, trillions of dollars in U.S. Treasury bonds are flooding back to Europe and 110 nations, revealing the alarming truth that the U.S. Corporation is teetering on the brink of insolvency. Brace yourself for the impending catastrophic collapse that will send shockwaves throughout Europe and beyond. Thursday 14th of March China's struggling property developers won't be getting a major bailout, authorities indicated, warning that those who harm the interests of the masses will be punished. France's brazen act of pilfering its citizens' wealth has ignited widespread riots and civil unrest. Hyperinflation in Germany is decimating the metal industry, crippling weapons production and pushing corporations to the edge of bankruptcy. The Deutsche Bank's entanglement with Epstein's dark connections and its web of international ties, including Estonian banks, is unraveling, as world courts launch far-reaching investigations that could shatter the global banking system. Israel's descent into chaos, an unfolding catastrophe. The nation of Israel finds itself in dire straits as it hurtles towards an imminent collapse. Concealing the true state of its markets, Banks are fabricating gains as civil unrest spirals into full-blown riots. Meanwhile, the colossal collapse of SVB banks in California, resulting in a mind-boggling loss of $10 trillion, sets off a catastrophic domino effect rippling across multiple countries. The collapse, underway for over a year and a half, is finally unmasking the deep state's cover-ups and exposing their false market reports. As the Biden administration trembles, governments worldwide teeter on the brink, and the military courts, along with the alliance, silently monitor the collapse, knowing that it will lead to military intervention. The intricate web of connections between governments, worldwide money laundering operations, bioweapon creation, and incitement of proxy wars through the U.S. heralds an era of potential war crimes, crimes against humanity, and a global pandemic. The Global Event we stand at the precipice of chaos. Massive chaos looms on the horizon, as citizens around the globe remain shockingly unprepared for the impending collapse event. Thursday 14th of March Dollar Tree and Family Dollar to close nearly 1,000 discount stores. Thursday 14th of March Breaking, New York Community Bancorp Crash, the banking crisis of 2024 has already started. F Thursday 14th of March Wells Fargo Implementation of QFS and Redemption Centers, Holly. Wells Fargo's approach to implementing the quantum financial system, QFS, and establishing redemption centers is a clear testament to its commitment to innovation, security, and customer service in the evolving financial landscape. The bank's strategy is multifaceted, focusing on ensuring a seamless transition for customers, enhancing security, and providing clear, beneficial exchange opportunities. Implementation of the Quantum Financial System, QFS, 1. Integration with existing services, Wells Fargo plans to integrate QFS seamlessly with its existing banking services, allowing customers to easily transition to the new system. This involves upgrading their infrastructure to support QFS technology, ensuring a smooth, secure, and efficient banking experience. 2. Staff training and expertise, the bank is investing in comprehensive training for its finance department professionals who will manage the QFS. This ensures that staff are well-versed in the intricacies of the system and can provide knowledgeable support to customers navigating the transition. 3. Enhance security measures, by requiring transactions to be overseen by individuals with Treasury or Homeland Security identification, Wells Fargo is prioritizing the security of its customers' transactions. This move is designed to instill confidence in the system's integrity and the bank's commitment to safeguarding financial assets. G Thursday 14th of March Bank Stories, Holly, two weeks ago I finally got to talk to a banker friend, walked in his office, closed his door. I started talking to him about the exchange his eyes got real big and asked me about it. I said yes if I had currency I said yes and then he asked me if I had Zim I said yes and he goes, oh okay you'll be going to special place. I said okay he said when that was over come back here and we'll talk and I'll help you out and take care of you, I was really excited about it. Bank story 2 I go into the bank today to a teller who I talked to about 3 months ago who was brand new and she spilled her guts. 
The first couple days that she started. Tell me asking me what currency I had and everything and I said yeah I had currency. He says oh you're gonna be one of our new millionaires, and I said I also had Zim she's and said oh you're gonna be one of our new billionaires and I went on with it today when I talked to her was talking about the new currency coming out soon. And she said yes and I said we should be exchanging it soon and then she said was the next week look forward to seeing you next week exciting times coming. I asked her if she had been trained on the new system QSF and she said yes and I said I told you you were gonna be trained on it. She laughed and said I know I just didn't believe you until now. H Agenda of the Illuminati Deep State Cabal Globalists Backed by the CIA Thursday 14th of March more than 2,500 delegates including Bill Gates, Fauci, Soros, Klaus Schwab and 5,000 armed guards and more than 2,000 private jets will fly to a Swiss ski resort for the World Economic Forum in Davos next week, to tell all of us to stop flying. Stop driving gasoline-powered cars, stop using gas stoves and stop eating quality food and start eating grasshoppers and living in gated 15-minute towns under strict social rationing. Blockchain technology is the globalist's method for rolling out their social credit system designed to control the masses. Quant and other organizations are connected to the federal government. Bitcoin is a U.S. CIA project. This is the conclusion reached by cryptographers, who provide the first evidence that Satoshi Nakamoto, creator of BTC. Users discovered that Nakamoto's first transaction deciphered as, this transaction was made by Paul LaRuta Halfini on January 12, 2009. His whereabouts are now unknown. Real News for Real Patriots from the Judy Byington Report, Part 30. Ellis Washington Report UN and WEF, Sustainable Development Control Plan means corporate control of all Earth's inventory, land, water, animals, minerals, plants, construction, production, food, energy, information, and humans. Corporations and NGOs supersede you. Thursday 14th of March Deep State Agenda to Control Our Food, American Cattle Rancher Exposing That They've All Been Sold Out. They're at risk of being run out of business and your meat is being imported. Four large mega corporations now own 85% of the entire industry. Two of them are foreign owned, one of them is Chinese. I Biden crime family, unmasking Biden crime investigation corruption. Uncover the chilling truth now. Our investigation exposes the disturbing reality of corruption, and illicit financial activities within Biden crime investigation. Act swiftly. J. The Real News for Thursday, March 14, 2024, January 6 So-called insurrection patriots were set up by our own CIA, Judicial Watch, CIA involved in January 6 response, deployed bomb techs, dog teams, texts reveal. Thursday 14 of March BlackRock Managing Director has been caught for child sex exploitation. Who is in charge at the privately owned World Health Organization, WHO? The Director General of WHO is Tedros Ghebreyesus and he is not a doctor. He is a member of the Tigray People's Liberation Front, which was classified as a terrorist organization by the U.S. government in the 1990s and is still listed on the Global Terrorism Database. Thursday 14th of March Multiple African nations report submarine cables cut as Internet outage intensifies. Monday 11th of March Boeing whistleblower found deceased. John Barnett was found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his truck in the parking lot of a hotel in South Carolina, just days after testifying against Boeing. He was a quality manager for 30 years with Boeing. Turned whistleblower, and had been testifying about what he witnessed all these years. He was silenced because he provided information in a deposition that may have seriously damaged Boeing's credibility, stock prices, and even raised questions of criminality, once published. Boeing is one of, if not the largest aviation company on earth. If it comes out that they are not building, or maintaining with the highest standards, it will be disastrous for them. Thursday 14th of March, massive internet problems in South Africa. Much of West and Central Africa without internet. Thousands of South African internet users are reporting issues with accessing myriad online services on Thursday March 14, 2024. Wednesday 13th of March Bombshell Report Judy Byington, child sacrifice perps including judge, sheriff arrested by Delta Force, whistleblowers charged by corrupt court tied to Clintons. Thursday 14th of March, Judy Byington, unredacted, worldwide scare event inbound, courtesy of Satan worshipping political and global elite. Special Intel Report March 14, 2024
Wednesday 13th of March, Situation Update, Third World War. Failing desperate cabal CIA trying to initiate World War III using false flags in China. Russia to provoke a nuclear response, WTPN. Thursday 14th of March Key House lawmaker says he may make referrals for obstruction, ethics against Dam J6 panel, Thursday 14th of March Russian nuclear subs on East Coast. Something for you to consider for your humanitarian needs, agriculture domes, Chinese New Year, a time to celebrate agriculture. Thursday 14th of March Special Report. Judy Byington, Worldwide Scare Event Inbound Due to Global Military Alliance Arrests and Taking Back U.S. Taxpayer Monies, U.S. Government Shutdown Pending. Thursday 14th of March The TikTok War, Trump vs. the Deep State, Who Will Win Control Over the Ultimate Propaganda Machine. The appointment was felt to be one of convenience due to Hoover's location and access to the NSA data center located in Utah. After all, the supercomputer at NSA has it all. From October 30, 2017 to March 31, 2019 Huber and his team of 740 investigators had filed indictments against global elites, averaging 5,521 per month. By January 2020 Huber gave a report of his Clinton investigation findings to President Trump saying, there was nothing to see. Trump responded by calling Huber a human garbage disposal. Obama, Clinton, Pelosi among those expected charged with treason, sedition. Fairbanks' connection to Huber's so-called investigation of Hillary Clinton's interest in SRA had begun a few years prior in January of 2018 when Fairbanks published a book titled, American Crossroad of Trust. His book concluded with matters that John Huber was supposed to be investigating under mandate of the Trump administration. In the second edition of his book Fairbanks discussed Hillary Clinton's interview with Matt Lauer just prior to the 2016 election, in which Clinton threw a tirade and declared, if that B$ hash percent D wins, we all hang. Was Clinton predicting that if Trump got into power they would uncover her many crimes including the ritual abuse of children? It wasn't until a year later in April 2019 and before Trump took Huber off the Clinton investigation that Fairbanks innocently approached John Huber on his information about the ritual abuse of children in Cache Valley, Utah. It took only seven months for Huber's office to file charges, against Fairbanks, without ever investigating any of Fairbanks' claims. In fact, Huber eventually was to make a decision to indict Fairbanks on bogus charges, which could have been a means of silencing him. Huber appeared to have reason some of which were thought connected to satanic ritual abusers ingrained in the Utah legal system and the federal tax case of Ken and Barbara Cromar, more popularly known as Barbie and Ken vs. Goliath IRS. By July 1, 2020 Barbie and Ken faced trial in Utah 4th District Court, charged with living in and stealing from their own home. Even though they had been cleared by a federal tax court of owing any money to the IRS, they had twice been attacked by 75 men SWAT teams who eventually seized their fully owned home and threw all possessions in dumpsters, including expensive camera equipment Ken used to make a living. The 4th District Court jury, which was not allowed to review evidence from the federal tax court case that proved the Cromars had been cleared of owing any money to the IRS, found them guilty of owing the money dash. Which was no surprise since during their nearly five-year battle with the IRS and 15 past court filings, they had been continuously denied due process of law by a seemingly corrupt court system. Just as Fairbanks was experiencing while fighting Huber's bogus charges, the Cromars had been denied the right to file documents in their behalf, denied the right to call witnesses to testify in their behalf and suffered many other injustices including the right to defend themselves in court. Tom Fairbanks' friend of the court brief for the Cromars stated, Ironically this is all happening at the same time the national airwaves are filled with news reports of alleged prosecutorial misconduct and investigations into satanic ritual sexual assaults in Utah County, in reference to Cromar's prosecuting Utah County Attorney David Olevitt. Levitt, who was running for re-election but later dropped out of the race, had his own satanic connection problems to think about, Utah County Attorney, Sheriff Trade Angry Barbs over sex abuse investigation, Deseret News Utah County gripped by accusations of phony murder, and cannibalization of kids, TheDailyBeast.com. A pack with ties to the Utah Sheriff's Association is trying to unseat Utah County Attorney David Levitt. Back on April 16, 2019 Huber claimed jurisdiction over the Cromar case by moving it from being a civil matter in the Utah 4th District Court to his jurisdiction in the U.S. District Court. Was it Huber's need to protect errant court officers and judges? 
perhaps the local district judge and Cache County Sheriff arrested in the May 2023 Satanic Coven Sting operation had connections to a corrupt Utah legal system. Meanwhile, Huber continued to conceal Hillary Clinton and her co-conspirators' satanic ties, acts of treason and crimes against humanity. On August 5, 2019, Chief Judge Timothy D. D'Agusti dismissed Barbie and Ken's complaint for lack of jurisdiction and denied Barbie and Ken their motion for a hearing. Barbie and Ken's appeal of Judge D'Agusti's decision was also denied. So, why did John Huber claim jurisdiction of this complaint by Barbie and Ken, especially when Judge D'Agusti openly declared that Barbie and Ken's complaint was dismissed for lack of jurisdiction? Why would a U.S. attorney interfere in a civil matter? Why did John Huber feel the need to protect Aaron court officers and judges through the sabotaging of Barbie and Ken's civil complaint and the court system? What would possess a man to do such a thing and to leave a paper trail behind? By October of 2021 Fairbanks had passed on intel to his military liaison about a couple whose last name was Huber, who were heavily involved with adrenochrome production, the very expensive blood of traumatized children used by satanic elites for highs in age reversal. On June 23, 2022 Fairbanks filed a friend of the court brief, Amicus Curie, on behalf of Barbara and Ken Cromar. Fairbanks also produced a news release on behalf of the Cromars with the subject line of, U.S. Attorney District of Utah implicated in criminal cover-up of Barbie and Ken's innocence. On Friday, May 19, 2023 Fairbanks filed a surprise motion, in the Salt Lake City Federal Court, suspending a sentencing hearing for Fairbanks scheduled for Wednesday, May 24, 2023. The filing revealed to the court that Fairbanks was, in fact, actively participating with Intelligence Support Activity, ISA. He was operating undercover while exposing satanic ritual abuse, SRA, and documenting crimes against humanity in a criminal case brought against him by John Huber's office. The federal judge's intentional ignoring of Fairbanks' court filing and stated threat in a warrant for the arrest of Fairbanks on May 24, 2023 legally amounted to a declaration of war against Fairbanks with the stated intent to manslave, traffic, him. The appeal, under Proclamation 104, suspension of habeas corpus throughout the United States sought to have the matter discharged in accordance with an act relating to habeas corpus, and relating to judicial proceedings in certain cases. Because of this declaration of war against Fairbanks, his appeal has now been given to JAG. The military remains the only lawful legal authority in a time of war. This is why it has been stated so many times, military is the only way. Following release of the May 2023 Memorial Day Satanic Perpetrator Sting Operation Story, Fairbanks received word that someone had been given a code for, which meant that someone had been compromised. Instructions were given him to limit direct communication as everyone was being tracked and traced. Fairbanks received word from his military liaison that he had a tail on him. He did not know who they were connected to and expressed concern that someone was going to great lengths to put surveillance on him, which exposed an even bigger effort to find and locate Fairbanks' whereabouts. While under protection, Fairbanks had a chance meeting with an informant which led to the disclosure of the NSA's National Security Agency connection to the Utah Highway Patrol, the Utah Governor's Guard, and even an NSA connection to the infamous January 6 their Ray Epps and the special protection and treatment Epps has been receiving in central Utah since Epps went into hiding. Ray Epps bound into the national spotlight on a January 6, 2021 demonstration at the U.S. Capitol by claiming, I was in the front with a few others. I also orchestrated it. Video footage from the night before, January 5, 2021 showed FBI-slash-CIA Fed agent provocateur Ray Epps screaming we need to go into the Capitol. Then the peaceful January 6 protesters scream no. Fed. 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 How many Americans, especially leftists, know this happened? Many are asking, why isn't Epps in prison? We pay FBI-slash-CIA to encourage violence at protests. By his own actions, Ray Epps clearly had a prominent role in and before January 6. Lastly, Fairbanks was not the only one who has suffered political tyranny for his participation in the satanic perpetrator sting operations that included uncovering of SRA and human trafficking in Cache Valley. Fairbanks' military liaison has also suffered financially, plus on Monday, June 19, 2023 ended up in the hospital after being poisoned, his present condition, critical. As of this date the liaison had not received his monthly disability-slash-retirement payments for the last eight months leaving him in a position of desperation. The liaison had successfully appealed to a military court to intervene in his behalf, 
but still had not yet received his monies. Through, he had received numerous calls telling him that his money problems would be over if he would just abandon Tom Fairbanks. Just prior to being poisoned, the military liaison received a phone call with an AI voice reading a message of warning saying, If you will turn over Tom Fairbanks to the federal authorities, we will stop interfering with your monthly payments. All of the previous phone call threats have been from a human source, yet in this most recent revelation, the call came from an AI source that appears to be connected to the NSA – an incidental element of great significance as to who is behind all of the surveillance. John Huber's close connection to the National Security Data Center in Utah, Governors Gary Herbert, and Spencer Cox, the NSA UHP Governor's Guard, along with the apparent protection of Ray Epps who is hiding in central Utah, may be the smoking gun that reveals everything including what and who are really behind January 6th at the U.S. Capitol. Meanwhile as of today Thursday March 14, 2024, Ken Cromar and Tom Fairbanks remained in jail awaiting hearings. Thursday 14th of March the Kalamazoo Water Reclamation Plant outfall, the city is testing its wastewater for methylene chloride spilled into the sanitary sewer system by Pfizer this week. And Thursday 14th of March newly discovered 50-mile fault line in Canada could cause massive tsunami in northwestern U.S. if it ruptures. More than a million residents in the northeastern United States are potentially at risk from a tsunami triggered by a recently identified fault line. Researchers have uncovered a fault approximately 45 miles in length, situated within British Columbia, Canada, that remained unnoticed for thousands of years. Specialists believe the specific configuration of this fault may lead to a significant earthquake in Canada. The impact of the earthquake has the potential to create a tsunami within the Georgia Basin region, affecting areas in both Washington and British Columbia. This finding was part of research conducted by a team that features Nick Harrichhausen, who is serving as a postdoctoral researcher at Université Grenoble Alpe in France. Oh, what every American needs to know explains the truths of law, status, unalienable rights, and history and provides an understanding of how to use it all. By David Strait, a former special ops, former intelligence officer, former Secret Service agent, former sheriff deputy and who recently served on two presidential task forces, says, 90% of what the U.S. federal government does is illegal and unconstitutional. Why? Because our constitution was changed in 1871. From that date forward. We have not been a free people living in a free republic. We have been a corporation. Straits Seminar, What Every American Needs to Know explains the truths of law, status, unalienable rights, and history and provides an understanding of how to use it all. This series should be watched by every single American. Sounds crazy. Start with these articles, the United States is not a democracy, it's a corporation. The Act of 1871 the corporation formerly known as the United States of America. Income taxes are illegal, there's no law requiring Americans to pay income tax. P. Anthony Sinisak from Canada reminds us, remember. The United States for America, a republic, was hijacked in 1871, perhaps as far back as 1774, and turned into a corporation called the United States for America Incorporated, a corporation. Section Q, I think should read the United States of America, a republic, not for. And the United States for America Incorporated, a corporation, seems correct, that is for as well as all capitalized letters, thus our, Canada included, surnames also capitalized, since 1871. Sneaky slash evil buggers. Incognito, right before our very eyes. Typical of Satan's minions. Q. The Global Alliance needs your help. Patriots around the world are doing their part, however small it may be inspired to be, to take down the corrupt system and its global and political elites who have committed treason and high crimes. Learn how you can join them and help the cause. Wednesday 13th of March US, Michelle, Miki, Klon recently went viral when she publicly served the Maricopa Board of Supervisors with a notice to resign for treason and high crimes. Miki and her team are showing we the people how to step up and assist the military's efforts by taking back our fraudulent corporate government at the local level. Miki Klon, Dismantling Our Local Corporate Governments Wednesday 13th of March UK, Richard Vobes is exposing explosive evidence of UK government fraud, that connects to the 9-11 terrorist attack, and the fraudulent UK company's house registration system where it appears that every UK taxpayer was contributing to a system of crime. 
Explosive Evidence of Government Fraud, Richard Vobes, Explosive Evidence of Government Fraud We've made some progress, apparently over 90 members of the UK Parliament were stepping down before the next UK elections. MPs are stepping down, Richard Vobes, BR1GHTF1R3HRUSRBMGBO White V64. Former police officer Gary Waterman, email to 650 MPs, international fraud, child protection. Learn how you can build evidential documents on international fraud, tutorial, former PC Gary Waterman, how to build evidential documents, international fraud. His record was sparkling clean. The real reason for attacks on Tom appeared to be that the powers that be couldn't afford to have someone with Tom's very valid evidence of SRA cases to be running around unchecked. He had to be silenced, one way or another. Fairbanks' problems began when he decided to take his evidence of satanic ritual abuse of children and share it with Utah governmental powers. No sooner had he done so when a tsunami of problems began to plague his life including being poisoned and suffering years of court battles on made-up cases. Tom has another hearing on his case set for Thursday 14 March 10 colon 00 AM MST. Ken and Barbie vs Goliath IRS so why was Ken Cromar sitting in jail awaiting trial on charges that he had the audacity to live in his own home that he fully owned after the privately owned by the Cabal IRS unlawfully used SWAT teams to take possession of that home and threw away all of his possessions and after he proved in a federal tax court that he owed no money to the IRS? Was the IRS making an example of Ken and his wife Barbara to prove what they will do to you if you dare question their unlawful authority? The deception displayed by the court and prosecution in the federal case against Ken Cromar exposes the desperation of the IRS and DOJ to convict Barbie and Ken. The six-year battle they have faced demonstrates the venerability of the IRS and its orchestrated scheme to defraud and fleece the American public, We the People, Tom Fairbanks, Intelligence Support Activity, ISA. Ken and Barbie vs. Goliath IRS Whistleblower Offer, If you want to help save U.S., share this particularly IRS or government officials who care about saving our country. Do you believe in miracles? Thank you for your kind prayers. They are working, Ken. Our conditional $12 million whistleblower offer, we are looking for miraculous support through some surprise whistleblowers who may have info that leads to exposing the corrupt charges against us and exonerate us. See the attached videos I made in Washington, D.C. at the National Press Club just days before being hit by 13-man SWAT in June of 2019. Restored Republic via GCR, Judy Note colon middle dot GOP commissioners launch probe of U.S. banks over ESG dash it must be stopped. Middle dot ESG is I existential threat to American agriculture. Wilton Simpson of Florida dot middle dot U.S. Air Force Base housing nuclear missiles goes on lockdown over real world threat. Middle. President Ronald Reagan's farewell address to the nation. January 11, 1989. Colon middle. Wednesday, 14th of February. BQQQM. The Apocal Showdown in Washington, D.C. Continuation of Government. Connect the dots. Background Military Operation. Deep State from A to Z and from Z to A. Middle. We are facing a national security threat that is very real. President Biden is a dementia patient in charge of our country and the nuclear football who ripped our border wide open to over 10 million people and an unknown number of those are in fact terrorists who wanted to kill you. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene Thursday 15th of February middle. There was a CIA MK Ultra mind control program embedded in Obama's Leave the World Behind movie. Middle. Wednesday 14th of February. Statistics Ukraine, A Tale of Plunder and Intrigue, written by George Soros, The Clintons, Biden, Obama, Davos, NATO. CIA and the Deep State. Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, The Globalist Conspiracy, Roseanne, Mel K. Colon, middle. 80% of Americans test positive for chemical found in Cheerios that may cause infertility. Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, just released sealed documents prove that the CIA killed President John F. Kennedy, with help from the Pentagon and State Department. Middle. A 2023 book titled Stolen Identity by John F. Kennedy Jr. claimed that right after the JFK assassination, five year old John F. Kennedy Jr. and his mother Jacqueline Kennedy were put in a witness protection program by CIA operatives. There, John Jr. lived a lifetime of torture as he was subjected to the CIA MK Ultra Mind Control Program. Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, Tucker Carlson lived with Mel Gibson uncovered the biggest scandal in American history.
A Thursday 15th of February cyber attacks across the globe coal and middle. Wednesday 14th of February. Breaking. Cyber warfare escalates, internet blackout strikes Poland and East Germany amidst rising tensions, Russia's warning shot. Middle. Thursday 15th of February Iran's parliament voting disrupted after massive cyber attack colon middle. Thursday 15th of February Australia, thousands of Aussies impacted as online banking services crash. Middle. Thursday 15th of February thousands of Aussies impacted as online banking services crash in major outage. Middle. Thursday 15th of February US conducted cyber attack on Iranian spy ship. B Global Currency Reset colon middle. Thursday 15th of February Rumor was that starting on Friday 16th of February Tier 4 paymasters would be on call and must be within a 30 minutes distance to their redemption center. There's a lot of speculation that it could go by twos. 20th of February Some reporters have often said it would go during a three-day weekend, which was next weekend's President's Day through Monday 19th of February. Middle. Thursday 15th of February Bruce a strong source said we were in a three-day rollout that started today Thursday 15th of February and will go through Saturday 17th of February bondholders are about to receive their emails and have access to their funds Friday 16th of February or Saturday 17th of February. Tier 4B should get notification Friday 16th of February and be able to set appointments by Saturday 17th of February. There could be an EBS announcement on President Trump anywhere from Friday 16th of February to Friday 23rd of February. Middle. Thursday 15th of February Goldilocks, liquidity is moving more and more each day from the old financial system to the new digital one. Middle. Thursday 15th of February Texas Snake, well folks my banker is hopeful he will be getting the approximate time his staff will be positioned to begin scheduling our exchange appointments which will also provide the date of when we will or could become liquid. We are close folks. God bless for allowing me to continue to share what I learn. Middle. Thursday 15th of February Richard Stone A quick bank story, I reached out to a Chase branch in North Florida. The private banker I spoke with was aware of the pending revaluation and was prepared to help me with all of my currencies except the dinar. So they are either not aware or just not talking. Middle. Monies for the global currency reset have been released by the Chinese elders. Intel providers were being leaned on not to disclose information. Rumor was that Trump had signaled a green for go and launched Nizera slash Jezara. After the RV the EBS system and restitution payments should begin. Middle. On Thursday 25th of January the gold-backed US dollar was introduced from the US Treasury in Reno. Middle. On Friday 26th of January all 86 global currency reset platforms were loaded and launched. Middle. By Sunday 28th of January. The new Iraqi dinar rate, which had been released in country on Monday 1st of January. And the new U.S. gold back note were both trading on the Forex. Middle. The Federal Reserve says the new dinar international rate is $4.81. Middle. Friday, 2nd of February, the Iraqi Stock Exchange, ISX, completed their link up of international platforms. Middle. The Chinese elders released to B1 funds into paymaster accounts for Tier 1, different countries' governments, that were now liquid and being paid out. To B2 funds for Tiers 2, 3, 4A, groups were released on Sunday 4th of February. And were liquid on Friday 9th of February to B3 funds for Tier 4B, US, the Internet Group, were released on Wednesday 7th of February. Middle. Some whales, bond people and others in Tiers 1, 2, 3 have been paid and were under NDAs. Middle. Three whales broke their NDAs and started talking. Their accounts were frozen after 30 years of waiting. Please be careful everyone. Middle. Sunday 4th of February. The Admiral's group was paid. Middle. Saturday, 10th of February. BRICS countries were informed of their new currency rates and Tier 4B funds were liquid in paymaster accounts. Middle. Monday, 12th of February, liquidity began. Middle. Archbishop Vagano on the Great Reset. The World Economic Forum is threatening the heads of government of the 20 most industrialized nations in the world to carry out the Great Reset. It is a global coup d'etat, against which it is essential that people rise up. Those who govern nations have all become either enslaved or blackmailed by this international mafia. See Thursday, February 15, 2024 Bruce, the big call colon middle. A strong source said we were in a three-day rollout that started today Thursday 15th of February and will go through Saturday 17th of February. Middle. Bond Paymasters Connection say bondholders are about to receive their emails and have access to their funds, get 10% for three months, 
Friday 16th of February or Saturday 17th of February. Middle. Tier 4B should get notification Friday 16th of February and be able to set appointments by Saturday 17th of February. Middle. Martial law was active in 24 states. Middle. Can move up to $10.5 billion from your quantum account to your regular account. That regular account will accrue interest. Middle. There could be an EBS announcement on President Trump anywhere from Friday 16th of February to Friday 23rd of February. D Global Financial Crisis colon middle. Thursday 15th of February Jeff Bezos sells another $2 billion worth of Amazon stock with a total of $6 billion AMZN shares sold over the last week. Middle. Thursday 15th of February Bitcoin crash, think about it. They re desperately attempting to launder money back to themselves and stealing billions from unsuspecting investors who climbed back on hashtag BTC train after the shorts got wiped out this week. Thinking they're gonna make up at least some of the money, there, Fed, isn't printing anymore. Last gasps, and the, USG, puts a flag on the, capital. Middle. The ignorance of the so called investors on Wall Street. Inflation is still rampant. That has never changed. Yet in less than 24 hours, the cabal has hypnotized those that have accepted this to be the norm. Eyes on the yen. Middle. European banks' $15 trillion commercial property headache. The UK falling into recession was expected. But consider for a moment the FX risks at play here from the lack of a Fed rate cut. Europe will suffer most immediately and American inflation would potentially devastate a host of G7 economies, Japan's economy is in recession, as are the other five of the seven heads, then the rest. Middle. The cabal US dollar is being propped up against all currencies on the world market. Devaluating their own in the process. Japan is in a recession. Dropped from third largest economy to fourth behind Germany. As we know, the USA Incorporated is manipulating the Dow Jones and its currency with little liquidity. Watching for the first domino to fall from the east. Countries will move away from the dead petrodollar and collapse it and save their own economies moving into the new system. All aboard. Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, Egypt officially ditches US dollar for BRICS trade. Colon, middle. Thursday, 15th of February, Japan loses crown as world's third largest economy after it slips into recession. Middle. Thursday, February 15th, 2024, reporter Tucker Carlson went grocery shopping in Russia to compare the cost of groceries there to America. $400 in US groceries cost only about $100 there. This is the fault of corrupt leaders in America. Tucker said because of this he is radicalized against the corrupt leaders in America. This has to stop. Middle. BRICS analyst predicts US dollar crash similar to Roman Empire's end. Middle. Thursday 15th of February the Dow takes a massive hit today, down 700 points almost a 2% drop. Its worst day in a year. Ears toward Republic colon middle. Chess, make no mistake. They lost and they know it. In chess both parties know when the last moves are made before checkmate. The loser has one option stall the game this lasts only moments before the end game. Truth, the military doesn't need the election audit results. They have everything. It's all optics for red pilling the masses. White hats working hard behind the scene to expose everything. From Fauci to Gates to election results and bringing to the MSM tribunals against all. The leaders in the three branches of the government system that helped foreign adversaries to capture the U.S. governor system and brought the coup against a sitting President Donald J. Trump. Middle. There is a slow burn, full bore internal coup happening within the ranks of the IDF, Mossad. These people are stratospheric in their panic right now. They know the full might of a worldwide military alliance has targeted them for elimination. The narrative is lost. Control of information is lost. They are being forced to stand and fight. They will lose. And they know it. Defections are part of any espionage special ops war. Amazing things are happening. 2024 is starting off fast, Q. F, our corrupt CIA, middle. Thursday 15th of February just released seal documents prove that the CIA, middle. Wednesday 14th of February, CIA threat list, names 8 million Americans who will be detained or executed when martial law is imposed middle. There was a CIA MK Ultra mind control program embedded in Obama's Leave the World Behind movie. Middle. A 2023 book titled Stolen Identity by John F. Kennedy Jr. claimed that right after the JFK assassination five-year-old John F. Kennedy Jr. and his mother Jacqueline Kennedy were put in a witness protection program by CIA operatives. 
There John Jr. lived a lifetime of torture as he was subjected to the CIA MK Ultra Ultra Mind Control Program. Middle. Evidence emerges claiming CIA masterminded entire Russian collusion and hooks leveraged against President Trump. Middle. CIA and foreign intelligence agencies illegally targeted 26 Trump associates before 2016 Russia collusion claims, report. Colin Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, JP Morgan Chase drops out of Climate Alliance. Colin Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, Spain. Spanish farmers have taken over the city of Leon protesting against socialism and the climate agenda. Middle. Biden was commander in chief of the deep state cabal U.S. Incorporated, which was comprised of BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street corporations, that were 88% owners of the S&P 500 companies, which were all going down. But you'd never know it if you followed the manipulated stock market, or tried to find valid statistics reported by the paid for by Soros mainstream news. Middle. The deep state cabal owned a facility for EMR, electromagnetic, waves called HAARP. These waves can penetrate everything on Earth. With EMR electromagnetic pulses, you can start fires and destroy everything on Earth, including causing earthquakes, tsunamis, and tornadoes. The deep state calls it global warming. Middle. Thursday, 15th of February, Elon Musk, SpaceX has moved its state of incorporation from Delaware to Texas. If your company is still incorporated in Delaware, I recommend moving to another state as soon as possible. Judy Note, it was rumored that headquarters for the new restored republic will not be in deep state cabal owned Washington, D.C., but was already being located in the sovereign state of Texas. Middle. John Kerry is in hot water after he landed Joe Biden in the middle of this lawsuit. Conservative Underground News. H. Middle. Along with that, the government you trusted with your hard earned tax dollars has enslaved us all in over $34 trillion in debt. Communists China owns most of our debt and China makes most of our critical chain supplies. You know, like medications that keep many of you alive. Now the interest rate on that debt is climbing so fast that the annual interest alone is soon to be bigger than our entire defense budget. Middle. Turns out the smart people running the federal government have made so many bad decisions with foreign policy, sanctions, and trade that our dollar is under dire threat and soon could no longer be the world's currency. Middle. This means that your 401ks, retirement accounts, stock portfolios, and savings could soon be worthless, and your government mandated Social Security account that most of you depend on in retirement could soon be wiped out. Middle. These are just a few of the terrifying top national security threats we face. However, perhaps the greatest threat is the federal government has become so powerful over the people that it leaks intelligence to the press in order to pressure Congress to make certain votes, protect its own power to spy on its own citizens, maintain power and protect its own job security, and most terrifying of all has become weaponized to crush its political enemies. Middle. All of this you I'm telling you didn't come from the SIF, you already know. And I'm depending on you to help me stop our greatest national security threat, the one from within. K targeted CIA MK Ultra Mind Control, no chip required. Middle. There is MK Ultra Mind Control program embedded in Obama's Leave the World Behind movie. Video editing expert discovers low frequency infrasound embedded in Obama's Leave the World Behind movie. When downloaded and put into an editing program, the movie has four audio files instead of the standard one file. One of the audio files is just a frequency low frequency infrasound. For the last 15 years that I have been using Sony Vegas and other editing software and have gone through downloading movies, 100% of the time, it's either an MKV or a MP4, there's always one video file and one audio file. Now let me show you what happened when we downloaded the movie Leave the World Behind onto Sony Vegas. Here you go, one video file, four audio files opened up. And this one. This fourth audio file seems to be the weapon. This is a low ELF, low frequency infrasound. Translation, there is an MK Ultra program in this film. Middle. Biocoded DNA resonant frequency links targeted individuals to mind control matrix colon middle. Kathy O'Brien, an MK Ultra survivor, interview with Isaac, Dr. Reiner Fulmich about Great Reset and Pedo Crimes. Middle. Apple fans are starting to return their vision pros, for some buyers. The honeymoon is already over. People complain about headaches, motion sickness, and the weight of the device. Middle. MK Ultra 2020, remote mind control through Amazon CIA cloud computing electronic brain link. Middle. Targeted with no chip required, 
bio-coded DNA resonant frequency links targeted individuals to mind control matrix. L. The Ultimate JFK Assassination Report, White Hats on Telegram colon middle dot on November 22, 1963 a coup occurred that drastically changed the trajectory of America and the world for the worse. If John F. Kennedy had lived, perhaps we would have seen far less war, bloodshed, and conflict. Truly, he was and is an American hero and icon. Middle dot this is my attempt to compile all the evidence you could possibly need to prove that JFK was assassinated through a conspiracy of the intelligence agencies, the bankers, the servants of the military-industrial complex, and the secret societies. May his legacy live on as he sacrificed his life in pursuit of a peaceful and prosperous world. M. On June 4, 1963, President John F. Kennedy issued Executive Order No. 11110 directing the Treasury to produce $4 billion worth of $2 and $5 bills. Middle. The bills, supported by silver reserves stored in the Treasury's vaults, were issued without debt or interest. The seigniorage, or profit from coinage, went directly to the U.S. government rather than to the privately owned U.S. Federal Reserve Bank. Middle. This issuance of notes was part of Kennedy's broader strategy to diminish the influence of the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank. Middle. On November 22, 1963. President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. N. The corrupt central banking system colon middle dot the first central bank was known as the Bank of the United States. It was given a 20-year charter and was 80% owned by the British banking cabal. It was also given the power to lend out twice the amount of reserves held in the bank, creating huge profits for the bankers, who were also allowed to charge interest on the monies loaned. They ran the national debt up dramatically, which forced the government to sell its remaining holdings in the bank, making it a 100% owned private bank. Middle. However, when the time came to renew the charter, America refused to comply and simultaneously passed the Titles of Nobility Act, prohibiting any citizen who held titles given by the Crown to serve in any public office. Middle. This effectively removed British control over the American monetary system, which greatly angered the Rothschild who then initiated the War of 1812. During the war, the British burned down Washington, D.C., eliminating all records of the passing of the original 13th Amendment, which was the Titles of Nobility Act. Middle. After several decades, Britain agreed to return control of America back to America with one stipulation, the removal of the 13th Amendment. By 1876, the Thirteenth Amendment had been erased from all public records, an act that was aided by the Rothschild bribing many public officials. Middle. Proof of the passing of the original Thirteenth Amendment was not discovered until over 100 years later in 1983. O Thursday 15th of February for those WHO say nothing's happening, David Wilcock, 1. President Clinton confirmed on Epstein List. 2. Iraq says no more USD exchange inside the country. 3. NATO full panic mode planning to false flag themselves and blame Russia. 4. SCOTUS accepts filing alleging Jack Smith is an illegal special counsel. 5. Public confirmation that DJT never went to Epstein Island. 6. Genocide in Gaza confirmed by multiple alt media slash citizen journalists worldwide. Official case accepted by ICJ. 7. Tucker Carlson slash Russell Brand say the words spiritual warfare, and C-19 was a bioweapon on Tucker's show three weeks after Tucker basically proved Epstein didn't kill himself. Judy note, this war we are fighting that pitted good against evil was being fought by the seven nation kingdoms of the alliance, the Global White Hat Military Alliance, the Q Team and the BRICS Alliance versus the 13 Illuminati Bloodline Families, Five Eyes Deep State Alliance. The Cabal Deep State Black Hat Globalists, the Jesuits, 33rd Degree Freemasons, Shriners, Khazarian Mafia, the Zionist bankers and 10 primary shareholders of the Federal Reserve. For a specific definition of who everyone is see hashtag T. Middle. Thursday 22nd of February Illegal immigrants are waiting at the airport day and night to hop on flights to the U.S., according to Border Patrol. TSA even accepts the paperwork they're issued by Biden's DHS as acceptable government identification. Middle. On Thursday, 22nd of February, 45 pedophiles who planned to eat children were arrested. Colon middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, invading migrants could decimate blue states. Middle. Wednesday, 21st of February. Edward Snowden, Five Eyes Supranational Intelligence Organization is watching you. Be careful because some things that are termed a conspiracy are true. 
Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, Sukarvath on Telegram, Space Force flexed on Deep State showing they can slash will shut phones, radio, media down. Power must remain for EBS, Project Odin, to keep folks calm. Martial law will keep everyone at bay while truths are exposed. Middle. On Thursday, 22nd of February, on Telegram, Documents from Homeland Security have been uncovered that said there would be a blackout soon and law enforcement needed to prepare for it. The EBS could happen in the next two days. Middle. Part 17 The sequel to The Fall of the Cabal, The Era of Depopulation, The Truth Behind Vaccines, Janita Seabard, Synthicoator. 8 Thursday 22nd of February was the Thursday 22 blackout of millions of U.S. cell phones a cyber attack, or an EBS test. Middle. A strong solar flare hit the U.S. around 2.30 a.m. EST on Thursday, 22nd of February and shortly afterwards, things went haywire, phone, internet service, for some. Down Detector reported major U.S. cell operators experiencing sudden network outages across the country. People throughout the U.S. continued to report cell outages from the major suppliers AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile throughout the day. Musk posts yesterday on X this is a test. Comments are turned off under the post. Today reports coming in that in the United States there are cell phone outages over multiple service providers including AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and U.S. Cellular, middle.75% network restored. Middle. The real reason for the outage, middle. Today's takedown likely a practice run, middle. Thursday 22nd of February cyber attack in India. Chinese hacker group targets major companies. Middle. Chinese firm breached foreign governments, infiltrate social media accounts and hack personal computers, a massive data leak analyzed by experts revealed. Massive leak shows Chinese firm hacked foreign govs, activists, analysts. B Timeline colon Middle. On Monday, February 19, 2024, activation of the EBS completed worldwide according to the official.net website. The website, which was now unavailable, said that President Trump will send out five presidential messages. Middle. On 2's. February 20, 2024, Protocol 20 began expanding the Stellar platform, bringing in more liquidity to the new asset backed financial system. NDAs were signed by the Reno 12. The new international Iraqi dinar rate came out at $5.20, ATMs were loading the new rainbow currency and then being placed out of service until all machines were loaded. Middle. On Wednesday 21st of February. The Reno 12 received their 1% and whales were moving money, transferring from hashtag Binance to unknown wallets. Middle. On Thursday 22nd of February that 1% for bondholders was received in Europe. Middle. On Friday, 23rd of February, that 1% for bondholders was received in Asia and the Philippines. Middle. Neither, including the RR allowance, was to be released by the end of the month. See Global Currency Reset colon Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, Bruce, on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 27, 28, 29th of February, banks were going through a clearing process where the USD will be replaced by the new gold slash asset backed US Treasury note. ATM machines will be down. On twos. 27th of February after 3 p.m. EST we are supposed to receive our notifications to set appointments that begin on Wednesday 28th of February. On Thursday 29th of February the new USD notes will be out. Sometime between 27 February through Thursday 1st of March Nizera would be introduced. R&R, payments were supposed to start a week after the USTN was introduced, or the second week in March 2024. Increases in SS will take place in March 2024. Banks in seven states were not Basel III compliant and that had to do with the cell phone outage on Thursday 22nd of February. All banks will be compliant by this weekend or they will not be open for business. Middle. Thursday 22nd of February Wolverine, I have been told by a good source that we may celebrating by as early as Friday 23rd of February there are some things I cannot tell you. It has started and I am just waiting for a call to release. My personal opinion is that we will get appointments next week. Bondholders need to get paid first and then currency holders. Historical bondholders will go last after the currency holders. Middle. Thursday 22nd of February TNT, the RV date has been set. Middle. Thursday 22nd of February the new Iraqi dinar rate has been flashing on front screens of banks and the rate was rising in value, but the flashing rates showed it was not yet ready to exchange. Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, bombshell. Trump's secret meeting unleashes global shockwave. Wells Fargo adopts dinar. Quantum financial system activated. 
Nizera rollout begins, Gazetler. Some of us have been in this for 30 years. A person I know has been in this since the 1960s when she heard about this, more than 50 years ago. It boggles the mind how many years people have waited for this to happen. Middle. We can't get any info from Reno, Zurich or other platforms because everyone is under NDA and that is a good sign. No one is talking. I tried to talk to Wales and they are under NDA, and yes, they have been blessed. Middle. I think there is not going to be an announcement, I think it is a process. I think people will just get paid, and they will sign an NDA, and then we will know about it. They will probably celebrate with their family and their platform. I do not think we will all celebrate together as we wanted to. Middle. I have been told by a good source that we may celebrate by tomorrow. I know people are suffering, about to lose homes, living in cars, severe health issues, like me. Middle. I wanted to let you know that it has started and I am just waiting for a call to release. Middle. My personal opinion is that we will get appointments next week. Middle. Bondholders need to get paid first and then currency holders. Historical bondholders will go last after the currency holders. Middle. Zim is a currency. Not a bond. Even though it is called a bond, it is a Zim currency. Zimbabwe is a very rich country. Zim has been classified under Tier 4B, not under Bond Tier. Middle. We have been told that when we go to the Redemption Center we will get a phone number to contact for appointments on the med beds. Middle. That is about it guys. It has been very stressful for me guys. I am going to the Gold Coast. I can't go today, due to a glitch in the system but I will go tomorrow as I have been invited to a summit to be a guest speaker and will be back on Monday. There is nothing more I can tell you. Take care guys, Wolverine. Bruce, the big call colon middle dot exchanging currencies is a non-taxable event dot middle dot underneath or there will be a complete change in our tax system. There will be no federal income tax. We will go to a consumption tax for new items of around 14% to 15%. That tax will be embedded in the cost of items you buy. Middle. Big Pharma and insurance companies were taking a big hit in the stock market on Thursday 22nd of February and Friday 23rd of February Middle. Sat. Sanks were going through a clearing process where the USD will be replaced by the new gold slash asset backed US Treasury note. ATM machines will be down. Middle. On twos, we are supposed to receive our notifications to set appointments beginning Wednesday 28th of February. Middle. On Thursday 29th of February the new USD notes will be out. Middle. Sometime between 27 February through Thursday 1st of March Nizero would be introduced. Middle. R and R payments were supposed to start a week after the USTN was introduced, or the second week in March 2024. Middle. Increases in SS will take place in March 2024. Middle. Banks in seven states were not Basel III compliant and that had to do with a cell phone outage on Thursday 22nd of February. Middle. All banks will be compliant by this weekend or they will not be open for business. F. Global Financial Crisis. Colon, middle. The world's drowning in debt. New York Post. Middle. The Russian ambassador in Baghdad Elbrus Kotrashev has invited Iraq to join BRICS. Middle. Wells Fargo in bankruptcy now. Millions of Wells Fargo customers are in line for relief money after the government found the banking giant violated a host of federal consumer laws between 2011 and 2022. Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, Tribune publishing to lay off 200 workers. Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, J.P. Morgan CEO Dimon sells about $150 million of his shares. SEC filing says. Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, the deep state is running out of money. Mike Adams G restored Republic colon middle. The Balfour Declaration 1917 has been reversed. Middle. The United States is different than the United States of America. The Constitution of the USA was formed in 1776. The U.S. incorporated United States as a corporation formed in Delaware in 1871. Middle. All citizens are governed under corporate law. All corporations must have a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Hence, USA Incorporated formed in the Act of 1871. A U.S. citizen is an employee of U.S. Incorporated. Middle. Rome once ruled the world. Caesar once ruled from the hill. Washington, D.C., Capitol Hill, the New Rome, as Washington, D.C. is the New Rome or Empire. Take a look at a picture of St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican Square. It looks just like our Capitol building in Washington, D.C. There is also an Egyptian obelisk in front of it just like the Washington Monument in D.C.
Middle. Ulysses S. Grant was President of the United States in 1871 when the corporation was formed. Funny, his first two initials are U.S. Middle. A U.S. citizen is an employee of the United States Corporation, which is a business. The word citizen means employee according to the laws of the United States Corporation. Middle. Washington, D.C. is a foreign corporation, and it is not a state. It's not a part of America and has nothing to do with the 50 states at all. It is where the foreign U.S. corporation is headquartered with its own laws. Middle. Since 1871 the United States President and the United States Congress has been playing politics under a different set of rules and policies. The American people do not know that there are two constitutions in the United States. The first penned by the leaders of the newly independent states of the United States in 1776. On July 4, 1776, the people claimed their independence from Britain and democracy was born. For 95 years the United States people were free and independent. That freedom ended in 1871 when the original Constitution for the United States for America was changed to the, the Constitution of the United States of America. Middle. The Congress realized that the country was in dire financial straits, so they made a financial deal with the devil, international bankers, in those days, the Rothschild of London, thereby incurring a debt to said bankers. The conniving international bankers were not about to lend the floundering nation any money without some serious stipulations. So, they devised a way of taking back control of the United States and thus, the Act of 1871 was passed. The Act of 1871 has been reversed. H. Wars and Rumors of Wars colon middle. Thursday 22nd of February Urgent, CENTCOM, today, a U.S. Navy destroyer in the Red Sea was attacked by six drones and two ballistic missiles from Yemen. Middle. Thursday 22nd of February NATO false flag action planned. Belarusian President Lukashenko predicts a NATO false flag operation in Poland in order to finally be able to enter World War III. This emerges from information from Western Secret Services. A Thursday 22 February 12th hour news cap, President Trump on Telegram, 1. Trudeau, social media is killing mainstream media. Point 2. Google's Gemini went so woke it could not create images of anyone white, including the Pope. 3. Modi hates me and had the Indian government ban a post I published about India banning protests. 4. Biden announces $1 billion in student loan forgiveness during Los Angeles visit. 5. The UK Parliament passed a call for an immediate Gaza ceasefire. The U.S. was unable to veto this one. 6. Yevgstana White, Putin gifted Khabib and his father property worth about $20 million in Russia after his victory over McGregor. 7. The U.S. pressures Pakistan to unblock X and other social media platforms. 8. Switzerland moves to ban Hamas, despite opposition from Swiss banks. 9. Boeing fires the wizard executive responsible for the troubled 737 MAX program amid serious safety flaws. J. Illuminati Deep State Cabal Globalist Agenda colon middle. Thursday 22nd of February Ben Falford, in 2015 Vladimir Putin concluded that Rothschild were up to no good with their satanic Luciferian agenda. 1. Mind control the people 2. Decrease the world population 3. Commit genocide via chemtrails, smart meters, Wi-Fi, mobile networks, etc. So what did Putin do upon concluding that their intentions were not in line with his Russian Orthodox values? He banned each and every one of them from entering, doing business, owning business or land in, or otherwise having anything to do with Russia at all. Middle. Satanic New World Order being ushered into mainstream society, the upcoming and now existential Satanic New World Order will more than likely be ushered into mainstream society and culture through two construct, fake, avenues. 1. Creation of a one world government and religion with the United Nations and the Illuminati taking the lead in this grand conspiracy to destroy or infiltrate Christianity. 2. According to the late journalist Serge Mona, NASA is planning on projecting giant 3D holograms of religious figures into the atmosphere to initiate a spiritual apocalypse among world religions. How the Satanic New World Order will try to destroy reality and religion using Project Blue Beam, holographic UFOs. Ellis Washington Report Middle. 2s. 20th of February New Michelle Moore, Are We Being Sold a Narrative in the Truth or Community? Connecting more dots for you on the Michelle Moore Show. Colon Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February The sudden death of Alexei Navalny has made me more and more aware of what is happening in our country. It is a slow, steady progression, with crooked, radical left politicians, prosecutors, and judges leading us down a path to destruction. Open borders. 
rigged elections, and grossly unfair courtroom decisions are destroying America. We are a nation in decline, a failing nation. MAGA 2024, President Trump Middle. When all is exposed 98% of Washington will fall, Julian Assange Middle. Stella Assange, Julian's wife and lawyer, sums up the hearing, projects the consequences of winning or losing, and emphasizes that pubic support is the essential ingredient to her husband's freedom. Middle. I've been a journalist for 25 years. I was taught to lie, betray and never tell the truth to the public. I was paid by the CIA, secret societies and billionaires. Journalists are used to manipulate the people. Uta Wolf Cote, a German journalist and editor of a leading European newspaper who died January 13, 2017 shortly after speaking at a conference on his 2014 bestseller book Journalists for Hire. Wake up, they faked history, Mike Adams, middle. Thursday 22nd of February it has been confirmed that Pelosi's J6 committee deleted over 100 encrypted files to keep them from Republicans. Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, Dumbs, Deep Underground Military Bases. Middle. Thursday, 22nd of February, a 2018 bombshell documentary exposes the U.S. biolabs in Ukraine. Middle. The deep state has literally come full circle. They had 51 intelligence experts lie and call Hunter's laptop Russian disinformation. Then they admitted that it was 100% legitimate and not Russian disinformation. Now they're back to Russian disinformation. It's beyond insane. Middle. The motto of 33rd degree Freemasons is called the Hegelian dialectic, or create the problem and provide the solution. The Hegelian dialectic was named after Georg Hegel, the German philosopher, and is also known as thesis antithesis synthesis or ordo ab jau, which is Latin for order from chaos. A Supreme Court to decide on 2020 and 2022 election fraud. A positive decision could dissolve the Biden administration and all of Congress. Thursday 8th of February New Benjamin Fulford, secret adrenochrome intel. Like Maui, it's been burned to the ground. Put us alert or EBS-the countdown begins. 2s. 6th of February Putin interview with Tucker Carlson, Thursday 8th of February Breaking news, Donald Trump has arrived in Moscow, joining the interview between Tucker and Putin. Tucker Carlson's interview with Putin Thursday 8th of February at 6 p.m. EST Could Tucker's interview with Putin save the world? Thursday, February 8, 2024, Could Tucker's interview with Putin save the world? Why did Putin invade Ukraine? Because Ukraine was a central headquarters of the criminal operations of the worldwide deep state. The government of Ukraine was directly installed by the U.S. deep state to be their puppet government. When Russia invaded Ukraine they disclosed the existence of a large number of U.S.-funded biolabs, which posed an existential threat to all of mankind. The Russian invasion was focused on dismantling these biolabs. By destroying them, Russia potentially saved the world from incredible devastation, as many more bioweapons, far worse than c 0 vid would have been released in the future. Ukraine is also the headquarters of George Soros, one of the world's most well-known master criminals who buys governments and news media and who is known for his operations to overthrow entire nations by funding social unrest such as BLM and Antifa. Saturday, April 22, 2023, Obama-Biden behind arming ISIS, Benghazi, SEAL Team 6 massacres, 2020 election fraud. If you only knew the significance of the numbers 3,6,9, then you would have the key to the universe, Nikola Tesla Thursday 8th of February France, data of 33 million stolen in massive cyber attack. A timing, on Friday 9th of February the Supreme Court has been called into an emergency session to hear arguments and make decisions on 2020 and 2022 voter fraud cases. If the decision is in favor of the three cases it would dissolve the Biden administration and all of Congress, Supreme Court interrupts its break for landmark Trump ballot case. By Friday 9th of February the Minister of Planning, Minister of Finance the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq and the Prime Minister Sadani would receive the new Iraqi dinar exchange rate. By Friday 9th of February do B2 funds for tiers 2,3,4A, groups, would be liquid. Saturday 10th of February was the beginning of the Chinese New Year when BRICS countries would be informed of their new currency rates and tier 4B, US, the Internet Group, funds deposited in Paymaster accounts on WED. 7th of February would be liquid. Thursday 8th of February Bruce, there were three cases before the Supreme Court that would be decided tomorrow Friday 9 February, one filed by President Trump and his team on election fraud, 
one filed by the Brunson brothers on 2020 election fraud and one filed on the 2022 election fraud. Around 11 a.m. ESD on Friday 9th of February we should get Supreme Court decisions on those three 2020 and 2022 election fraud cases which would reverse those elections. A couple of hours later we should get notification to set appointments that could start Friday afternoon or Saturday 10th of February. Sunday 11th of February. The emergency broadcast system may activate worldwide after the Super Bowl. POTUS alert test incoming EBS Super Bowl night, Q post 2288. On Monday 12th of February SCOTUS would likely announce their decision on 2020 voter fraud. A positive decision would dissolve the Biden administration and all of Congress. On Thursday February 15, 2024, Tier 4B exchanges and bond redemption will wrap up. B Global Currency Reset, Wednesday 7th of February. Marks, one of the bondholders has already had their money pulled back for violating the NDA. This also means that the bondholders are receiving money. It has begun. The Chinese elders have released to B1 funds into paymaster accounts for Tier 1, countries internationally, that were now liquid and being paid out. Do B2 funds for tiers 2,3,4A, groups, were released on Sunday 4th of February. And would be liquid on Friday 9th of February. Do B3 funds for tier 4B, US, the Internet Group, were released on Wednesday 7th of February. And would be liquid by at least Saturday 10th of February. Saturday 10th of February. Was the beginning of the Chinese New Year when BRICS countries would be informed of their new currency rates and Tier 4B funds deposited on WED. 7th of February would be liquid in Paymaster accounts. Thursday 8th of February Dinar on Forex. Dinar RV happens this Saturday 10th of February. $4.81 rate. Dinar and Dong revaluing starting. Iraqi Dinar Today video updates Thursday AM February 8, 2024 The Bank of England fell. See Thursday, February 8, 2024 Bruce, the big call, this morning Thursday 8th of February a banker said to Bruce, soon we will all be the light of the new world. There were three cases before the Supreme Court that would be decided tomorrow Friday 9 February, one filed by President Trump and his team on election fraud, one filed by the Brunson brothers on 2020 election fraud and one filed on the 2022 election fraud. Around 11 a.m. ESD on Friday 9th of February we should get Supreme Court decisions on those three 2020 and 2022 election fraud cases which would reverse those elections. A couple of hours later we should get notification to set appointments that could start Friday afternoon or Saturday 10th of February. Trump should return before we go into the redemption centers. He has been acting as commander-in-chief of the military, but will return as U.S. president. Reclamation and restitution allowances and increases in Social Security should occur sometime this month of February The new rates are locked in on bank and redemption center screens. You will get a better rate at a redemption center. A call took place with the leaders of the redemption centers around the U.S. and Wells Fargo on twos. 6th of February D. Recent history of the global currency reset On Thursday 25th of January the gold-backed U.S. dollar was introduced from the U.S. Treasury in Reno. The next day on Friday 26th of January all 86 global currency reset platforms were loaded and launched. By Sunday 28th of January, the new Iraqi dinar rate, which had been released in country on Monday 1st of January, and the new US note were both trading on the Forex, the Iraqi stock exchange, ISX, has completed their link-up, of international platforms. They are done and live. E Wednesday 7th of February. RV Update, Walking Stick. The Central Bank of Iraq is done with the constant meetings to get the monetary reform education out because the campaign was started and it's doing very well. All these meetings that the CBI had with all these agencies that were helping them with their monetary reform are done. All the things that Aki, Iraqi bank friend, had to do in order to qualify to exchange the three zero notes into American dollars is done. International platforms that were needed in order to do electronic transfers is done. Iraqi Bank Friend Aki Update, this is the monetary reform roadmap for the next couple of weeks, January 29th the banking campaign was started to release deeper education about the monetary reform to the Iraqi citizens. Either Thursday 8th of February or Friday 9th of February the Minister of Planning, Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Central Bank of Iraq and the Prime Minister Sadani are all going to be receiving the flow down of information regarding the new currency that is to be released. And the new exchange rate for that new currency, also, 
the Erbil Stock Exchange, ESX, and the Iraqi Stock Exchange, ISX, have completed their link-up of international platforms. They are done and going live at any moment. F Global Financial Crisis, Thursday 8th of February Situation with Loans in the U.S. In the fourth quarter of 2023, household debt increased by $212 billion, reaching $17.5 trillion. Credit card balances grew by $50 billion to $1.13 trillion. It's important to note that in this context, balances refer not to the credit limit on the card but to the amount already used, i.e., the debt owed by the cardholder to the bank. Mortgage loan balances increased by $112 billion to $12.25 trillion. Auto loan balances rose by $12 billion to $1.61 trillion, continuing the upward trend observed since 2011. Delinquencies increased across all types of debt, except for student loans. Bank failures and system collapses don't have to necessarily start or finish in the U.S., they can start and finish elsewhere in other countries. This article dated today speaks about financial woes in Germany and stock prices dropping. G Restored Republic, they are coming for us. Be prepared. Warning. Sheriff Prepare Americans for Coming Disaster 2024, Thursday 8th of February Where World Events Are Headed, Jocko, Bennett. Thursday 8th of February Major Announcement, Trump, Carlson, Musk. Thursday 8th of February Big Supreme Case Soon, Let the Games Begin, On the Fringe. H. Thursday 8th of February Initial Thoughts After the Putin Interview, Bio Clandestine on Telegram, I really wanted to see Putin go into detail on the degeneration of Western society, because I think it would have resonated with the American people. The history about Ukrainian Nazism will be effective and his talk of denazification will certainly draw some attention. Obviously I wanted Tucker to ask Putin about the biolabs in Ukraine, but as I stated yesterday, this topic might be too far of a jump down the rabbit hole for those new to this realm. This interview seemed to be an introductory first impression to appeal to Western citizens and disprove the MSM-created perception of Putin. Anyone who watched the interview objectively would have to agree that Putin is not the monster we were told he was, and negotiations can be made if there is competency from U.S. leadership. Hopefully this will change the perception of the U.S. being innocent darlings in the conflict and can eventually lead to mass realization that the U.S. slash NATO are the ones who brought war and weapons to Russia's doorstep via espionage and CIA color revolutions. Putin knows way too much history Putin is operating on an intellectual plane far above all U.S. politicians Putin appears to want cooperation but the West have isolated Russia Putin does not want to invade Poland or take over the world. Putin is not the deranged warmonger the MSM describes him as Putin is well aware of the deep state and recognizes the CIA as nefarious. I Thursday 8th of February New Benjamin Fulford, Secret Adrenochrome Intel. If this doesn't make your blood boil, I don't know what will. A high-level government official, this person has been alone in the room with U.S. presidents and Israeli prime ministers. If you find your missing child's name on the list, we promise we will leave no stone unturned to either rescue or get justice for your child. This is possible because the files contain the names and home addresses of 456 adrenochrome harvesters. J Super Bowl Checkmate, Gold Shall Destroy Fed, this year's Super Bowl matchup has so many multiple meanings. The Wizard of Oz Bowl as I like to call it due to the connection to the yellow brick road in San Francisco but it goes deeper than that I think. Kansas in Aztec means silver. Kansas claims to have gotten the name from the Kanza tribe meaning South Wind people. Aztecs originated from Mexico south of the United States. If you look at Aztec silver it has an Indian on it. The Kansas City Chiefs logo can be found with a silver background and back in 1968 they used to have silver face masks. Chiefs is obviously another name for Indian. The 49 ERS are from Northern California. Gold was discovered in Northern California in 1849. We know the cabal runs their entire operation through San Francisco see my post below on San Francisco. Vincent Kennedy posted a few posts regarding the Aztec symbolism and silver. Look at their symbols below the pedo symbols and the all-seeing eye. When I lived in Arizona it drove me crazy seeing the pedo symbols on many of the below symbols all over the walls, rocks, buildings, signs and the malls. I have seen a few anons like at TWM 316 talk about how there has been Egyptian statues found in the Grand Canyon along with gold and silver. If you remember the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp's character was after Aztec gold. 
We know he's been a popular figure during this movie especially to his connection to Alice in Wonderland the Hollywood Vampires and Amber Heard. So really what we have is a battle of silver versus gold and we know that the Golden Gate Bridge is the Black Swan event that exposes it all and we know that gold shall destroy Fed. So that means Kansas City Chiefs representing the Fed which explains why the Fed have stopped at nothing to promote the Kansas City Chiefs connection to Taylor Swift, clone of Zena LaVey Church of Satan, San Francisco. Dollar AMC HQ is in Kansas, Adam Aaron screwed over the hashtag apes which makes perfect sense because of their connection to the Fed. But the rise of the planet of the apes, and Wizard of Oz flying monkeys tells us that apes will aid in the Fed's destruction and be part of the biggest wealth transfer in history. Ripple Labs moved their headquarters to San Francisco in 2019 under the control of the White Hat's control. Swift Financial System is in the process of being upgraded to the new financial standards ISO 20022. Taylor Swift, get it, up pointing finger, XRP is a ISO 20022 token and should moon. Bitcoin, Tether and other non-ISO 20022 compliant cryptocurrencies should crash along with the dollar. So with all that being said the population can watch the Super Bowl 58 Sunday February 11, 2024 in anticipation of a football game. I am watching to witness the complete collapse of our country's financial system as they flip the switch and destroy the old guard's power, and give power back to the players. Nizra. Shall we play a dollar GME? I have a feeling we are not in Kansas anymore to two. Checkmate. Wednesday 7th of February. Chinese nationals arrested at border. Thursday 8th of February Executive Order 13818 Repossession for Crimes Against Humanity From a mansion in Miami to a condo in Atlanta, big-name actors and professional athletes have wasted no time marketing their luxury properties for sale. Wednesday 7th of February New Alex Jones, Tucker Carlson tries to stop World War III in history-making interview with Putin, Wednesday 7th of February Donald Trump nominated for Nobel Peace Prize French farmers and protesters take protests directly to supermarket and against cheap foreign imports that will see them bankrupt. Support the farmers they feed us all. Thursday 8th of February primetime just found another Wanda and he's an absolute legend. Craig Calloway is a Democratic operative accused of paying people to harvest votes from old and disabled people. Wednesday 7th of February. Bill Maher calls out Joe Biden for lying about requiring additional paperwork from Congress to deal with the border issues. The president can fix this, he already has the existing laws, this is all so silly. I need a piece of paper from Congress to deal with the border, no, you already have that. The FCC just made robocalls illegal, Thursday 8th of February the border crisis, the 5 Fox News, Thursday 8th of February Russian nuclear weapons plant explodes. Thursday 8th of February Senator John Kennedy to U.S. Department of Energy Deputy Secretary David Turk, you don't know, do you? You just want us to spend $50 trillion, and you don't have the slightest idea whether it's going to reduce world temperatures, Hawaii has given a big F you to the Second Amendment. And Thursday 8th of February White Hat Intel, Wednesday 7th of February. D.C. Appeals Court really said, George Bush has immunity. Bill Clinton has immunity. Barack Obama has immunity. Donald Trump does not have immunity. Joe Biden has immunity. Everything you need to know. Nothing can stop what is coming. Hitler arrested the Rothschild in Germany in 1933, Austria in 1938, and France in 1940, and seized their assets. By taking Germany out of the Rothschild-owned banking system he transformed Germany into a superpower. The Rothschild family had attempted to infiltrate America through its banking system from the day, America was formed. They were blocked by President Andrew Jackson, but ultimately were able to gain control through the passing of the Federal Reserve Act in 1913. Oh global food shortage crisis, Wednesday 7th of February. Fires and more fires continued to strike France, as more than 100 firefighting teams were dispatched by the French authorities to try to extinguish the massive fires that affected many public and private facilities. As the government was striving hard due to the tractor revolution that spread from France to the rest of the countries, and the French farmers were joined by their companions from Spain and Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany where all the main highways leading to Paris were closed, and Spanish farmers are planning to besiege the capital of their country. As you can see now, after the farmers closed eight highways around the capital with tractors and burning tires in protest against the government's decisions, France deployed 15,000 policemen. 
French people in the streets and roads under the surveillance of security forces. The demands of these farmers were to obtain better income and less stringent environmental standards, as is the case in other European countries. Where one of the protesters was able to break into a storage area in the international market, which led to the arrest of 93 people. In person, the farmers sprayed government buildings with sewage. Accordingly, banks and a number of establishments were closed, and the local government building was set on fire. They launched a new campaign to flood one of the police stations with natural fertilizer. The executive authority allowed the farmers to demonstrate and express their opinion and anger for a few days, but they did not last. This situation is so great that they approached the Ranges region, and the Minister of the Interior warned against harming this place because of its great economic impact. As it is considered the first fresh produce market in the world and the largest in Europe in terms of area and the main center through which most food products pass to supply Paris and its cities. Teachers also attended. Schools demanded higher salaries and better working conditions. The protests continued after the Prime Minister announced the provision of concessions to farmers. And until now French farmers continue to close other roads around Paris and strategic places in the country, which increases pressure on the government. Spanish farmers also announced their joining the European movement, where forces intervened. The security forces that tried to prevent the advance of the farmers' tractor convoy in central western France towards the Ranges market were also stopped. P. Thursday 8th of February Ken and Barbie vs. Goliath IRS Update, Wednesday 7th of February. Dear Patriot friends and family, as you know from my last email, the prosecutor quit as the lead attorney. So, we decided to be bold by asking for subpoenas of the IRS auctioneer and others to testify under oath. This change creates a slight delay to our long-anticipated hearing on our motion to dismiss and therefore, the hearing of February 8, is delayed for a few days. We believe this strategy, coupled with other pieces of our plan, will work together to ensure the positive results we're looking for. Our goal. To have all charges dropped, the entire case dismissed without ever having to go to trial. We believe in miracles. Do you? Ken really appreciates receiving encouraging messages in postcards. White, pre-stamped postcards with your name and complete return address handwritten is the only correspondence accepted at the jail. Paul Chrome R number 567164 Davis County Jail P.O. Box 130 Farmington, Utah 84025-0130. Q. Biden crime family, Biden admitted he had classified documents strewn about his home dating back to 1974. They were also in his China-funded Penn office, where he was paid $1 million to be a professor, but never taught a single class. Way back on Sunday, December 27, 2020 a Ukrainian press conference outlined international corruption sanctioned under Democratic senators and demanded return a billion stolen from the Ukrainian people laundered through what has been referred to as the Biden crime family. While serving as vice president in the Obama administration Joe Biden outwardly bragged on TV about blackmailing a Ukraine prosecutor. The video was taken off the internet. Just before the 2020 election Biden was filmed on TV while admitting, we have put together the most comprehensive voter fraud organization in the history of politics, and you guys did it for the Obama administration also. Joe Biden brags about having the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in history. Our Farm Claims, Nizra, American Patriot on Telegram Thursday 8th of February, banks and the government illegally seized Midwestern family farms that belonged to the Farmers Union by giving land patents to farms. A land patent provides legal protection against illegal land grabbers. It is illegal to seize any property owned by an allodial title. Allodial. The corporation USA Incorporated thought they owned the land when they seized the land from the Federal Republic of the United States. They did not honor property rights. A land farm with this type of title can only be transferred by the owner voluntarily, which means it cannot be removed by any other means. The properties in question were pledged to banks by the innocent and unknowing owner as security for a loan. They had no choice, to pawn the land or not take a loan. Forfeiture of the property was written into the loan if it was not repaid on time. This was against the law, the banks knew it and the county clerks of county government knew it too. Clerks recorded the transfer of ownership to the banks without the voluntary signature of the legal owner. This was pure fraud perpetrated and justified by America's illegal foreclosure of USA Inc. Nizer aims to reclaim all of this land and pay the illegal lawsuits and legal fees to these people. S.
The Khazarian Mafia, City of London and Child Sacrifice, a summary, about 1200 AD an incredibly evil society emerged in Khazaria. The Khazarian Mafia king and his inner circle of oligarchs practiced ancient Babylonian black magic Baal worship. In return their god Satan was said to promise them power over the world and all its riches. The leaders of the surrounding nations, especially Russia, were disturbed by Khazarian crimes against their people. By 800 AD the Russians led a group of nations surrounding Khazaria, invaded and conquered it. They then delivered an ultimatum to the Khazarian king that he must choose one of the three Abrahamic religions for his people, Islam, Christianity, or Judaism. The Khazarian king chose Judaism, but only pretended to practice it while continuing to sacrifice children to Satan so his mafia could rule the world. The Khazarian mafia then invaded England, murdered King Charles I and began the English civil wars. The wars raged for nearly a decade and resulted in launching the British Empire and setting up the city of London as the banking capital of Europe. T. The real and forbidden history of the Khazarian Mafia and the city of London equals banking capital of world. Professor Ellis Washington Real News for Real Patriots from the Judy Byington Report, Part 30, Ellis Washington Report. The Khazarian king chose Judaism and promised to stay within the requirements laid out by the surrounding confederacy of nations led by the Russian Tsar. Despite his agreement and promise, the Khazarian king and his inner circle of oligarchs kept practicing ancient Babylonian black magic, also known as secret Satanism. This secret Satanism involved occult ceremonies featuring child sacrifice, after bleeding them out, drinking their blood and eating their hearts. The deep dark secret of the occult ceremonies was that they were all based on ancient Baal worship, also known as worship of the owl. In order to fool the confederacy of nations led by Russia that were watching Khazaria, the Khazarian king melded these Luciferian black magic practices with Judaism and created a secret satanic hybrid religion, known as Babylonian Talmudism. This was made the national religion of Khazaria and nurtured the same evil that Khazaria was known for before. Sadly, the Khazarians continued their evil ways, robbing and murdering those from surrounding countries who traveled through Khazaria. Khazarian robbers often attempted to assume their identities after they murdered these visitors and became masters of disguises and false identities, a practice they have continued even to this very day, along with their child sacrifice occult ceremonies, which are actually ancient Baal worship. 1200 AD Russia and the surrounding nations have had enough and take action. About 1200 AD, the Russians led a group of nations surrounding Khazaria and invaded it in order to stop the Khazarian crimes against their people, which included kidnapping of their young children and infants for their blood sacrifice ceremonies to Baal. The Khazarian leaders had a well-developed spy network through which they obtained prior warning and escaped from Khazaria to European nations to the west, taking their vast fortune with them in gold and silver. They laid low and regrouped, while assuming new identities. The Khazarian king and his court mafia plotted eternal revenge against the Russians and the surrounding nations that invaded Khazaria and drove them from power. The Khazarian mafia invades England after being expelled for hundreds of years. To accomplish their invasion, they hired Oliver Cromwell to murder King Charles I, and make England safe for banking again. This began the English civil wars which raged for nearly a decade, resulting in regicide of the royal family and hundreds of the genuine English nobility. This is how the city of London was set up as the banking capital of Europe and launched the beginning of the British Empire. The city of London, Vatican and DC are all not part of the countries they are in. They are independent land, owned by the Rothschild and globalist cartel. They are symbols of a cult. These three also have obelisks in common, which also shows that they are all connected by Freemasonry, which prays directly to the devil himself, who they call Lucifer, the god of good and light. They call Christ the bad guy. These deluded Satanists are running things, which explains a lot of the negativity in the world today. The obelisk is phallic in its appearance and represents the male penis. It is symbolic of the Egyptian sun god, Ra, and is an ancient symbol of male energy and generation, G, in Freemasonry. London Obelisk, aka Cleopatra's Needle, located on the banks of the River Thames. This obelisk was transported to London and erected in 1878 under the reign of Queen Victoria. The obelisk originally stood in the Egyptian city of On, or Heliopolis, the city of the sun. 
Although we the people have been falsely taught since the 1870s that sci-fiction literature and latter movies and radio, for example, H.G. Wells' popular novel, War of the Worlds, 1898, actually brought global panic when it was serialized in a 1938 radio show, are purely fantasy and not reality. However remember the movie industry, created and controlled by the Rothschild Khazarian Mafia, have always lied to U.S. through entertainment propaganda since the founding of the satanic New World Order cinema called Hollywood. And its first movie they created celebrating the virulent racism, torture, terrorism, and black hatred of the Ku Klux Klan called, Birth of a Nation, 1915. Therefore, the Morpheus quote from the Matrix movie, everything they told you was a lie, is not hyperbole, but is 100% true and as you become more aware of the reality of truth, the further you read into this essay and in other essays of this multi-part series. False flag war is like the so-called present Russian war in Ukraine, illegal immigration, the imminent arrest of Trump, martial law imposed on America and the world, which will serve as triggering events which are all forerunners to a coming storm. These Machiavellian tactics, many which have existed for hundreds and even thousands of years, are now presently being exposed to the world thanks to the Q-level military intelligence drops released to the public beginning on October 30, 2017 by Q and his legions of analysts called Quanons which Wikipedia and the propaganda CIA MK Ultra Mind Control Media to this day call conspiracy theory a term invented by the CIA to hide the treasonous actors like the CIA, FBI, LBJ, George H.W. Bush and others who plotted the assassination of President John F. Kennedy who promised to break up the intelligence agencies like the FBI and CIA for their many crimes against humanity, sedition and treason against the American people. Cabal created food shortages worldwide coming to fruition as the World Economic Forum vows to ration meat, electricity, gas and force use of their central bank fiat digital currency that would control your life and pocketbook. All Dubai funds released for global currency reset. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Citizens, TD and Key Bank all shutting down branches in preparation for global economic crash. A global currency reset, Monday 5th of February marks, on Saturday 3rd of February. Tier 3 church groups were told to be on standby to fly to Reno within 24 to 48 hours. Wednesday 7th of February. Do B3 funds for Tier 4B exchanges go into paymaster accounts and would be liquid 48 hours later? or by Friday 9th of February, Wolverine. On Friday, February 9, 2024 the Supreme Court will make a decision on the Brunson case, Florida 2020 voter fraud case and the 2020 voter fraud case brought in by President Trump. Sunday 11th of February. The emergency broadcast system may activate worldwide after the Super Bowl. POTUS alert test incoming EBS Super Bowl night, Q post 2288. On Monday 12th of February SCOTUS will likely announce their decision on 2020 voter fraud. A positive decision would dissolve the Biden administration and all of Congress. On Thursday February 15, 2024, Tier 4B exchanges and bond redemption will wrap up. Saturday 3rd of February. Wolverine, D-Day funding for Tier 4B from WE3 will be released into Paymaster accounts on Wednesday 7th of February. And within 48 hours from there it will be liquid, or by SAT. 10th of February, I spoke to big whales in Spain and South America. They were under NDAs and couldn't talk but did say it has started. Lawyers who have close contact with paymasters say that the funds are in paymaster accounts. Do B1 funds have all been released. Do B2 funds are releasing right now and should be finished by Sunday 4th of February. Do B3 funds were about to be emptied. 42 states remove taxes from purchase of gold and silver. B Recent History of the Global Currency Reset On Thursday 25th of January the gold-backed U.S. dollar was introduced from the U.S. Treasury in Reno, the next day on Friday 26th of January all 86 global currency reset platforms were launched and loaded. By Sunday 28th of January, the new Iraqi dinar rate, which had been released in country on Monday 1st of January, and the new U.S. note were both trading on the Forex. On Monday 29th of January tiers above tier 4B, us, the Internet Group, began receiving notification for appointments and now some were in the process of exchanging. See Global Financial Collapse, Monday 5 February 20th Nations Join BRICS, Ditch US Dollar, Monday 5th of February Nearly 30% of all stocks in China have been halted as China's CSI 1000 index slides 8% in a matter of hours. 
China's Evergrande Crisis Baghdad, February 4, Reuters, Iraq has banned eight local commercial banks from engaging in U.S. dollar transactions, taking action to reduce fraud, money laundering and other illegal uses of U.S. currency days after a visit by a top U.S. Treasury official. The Iraqi banks have been banned from accessing the Iraqi Central Bank's daily dollar auction. The daily dollar auction has become a way of smuggling dollars for Iran, and this is expected to restrain much of those activities. This is part of the economic and financial reforms Iraq is going through to meet international banking standards and achieve international connectivity. As you can see, Iraq has began implementing some of their economic reforms as promised, Goldilocks. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Citizens, TD and Key Bank among big banks to shut 139 branches in January alone, after another 37 closed in final week of month. D. Dangers of Cabal Fiat Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDCs, the repo reserve liquidity is down to $500 billion. This is the budget from the Federal Reserve to save troubled banks in liquidity crisis. This program called Bank Term Funding Program, BTFP, will be dead by March 11, 2024, little more than a month from today. They will drain to zero. We will see more banks crashing. Meanwhile the debt for the U.S. bankrupted corporation is $34.17 trillion, and bond payments close to $10 trillion is due this year. Good luck trying to collect. But the news said the market is doing great. Closer to $10 trillion. This article was from 11-2023. $7.6 trillion of U.S. government debt will mature in the next year, adding pressure on rates. Federal Reserve announces that the Bank Term Funding Program, BTFP, will cease making new loans by 3.11. Federal Reserve reverse repo facility in June 2022 was, $2 trillion warning, what will happen if we go to the Fiat Central Bank digital currency? If a traffic camera catches you jaywalking in China, the digital ID system has you. It has your blood, it has your genetic code, it has your photograph. It will convict you and take money out of your bank, Dr. Jordan Peterson. Ears toward republics of the world. Sunday 11th of February. EBS activates after the Super Bowl. POTUS alert test incoming EBS Super Bowl night, Q post 2288. Sunday 4th of February. Special report. Military forces, Q, and the EBS, according to Ground Command, the entire world is currently under international or global martial law. Monday 5th of February Judy Byington bombshell report. Unreported by our fake news mainstream media. According to Ground Command, the entire world is currently under international or global martial law. And, they have a plan. Restored Republic via GCR as of February 5, 2024. F Worldwide Food Crisis, Monday 5th of February Food Crisis, Farmer Protests in Ireland, in Ireland farmers have been told they must call 200,000 cows to meet the government's climate ambition. This is amongst other insane legislation which will technically bankrupt them. The Irish Farmer Fight Back has now begun. Monday 5th of February Food Crisis, Brussels, Hungarian Prime Minister Urban preferred a walk with farmers protesting in Brussels to dinner with EU leaders. The farmers' protests across Europe continue, with Dutch and Belgium tractor drivers blockading border highways. Monday 5th of February Food Crisis, Canada, the average Canadian is just dreaming about affording food. A quarter of Canadians are now borrowing money just for essentials like eating. Now Canadians are borrowing up a storm because they can't afford the higher prices that you've imposed on them. The price of coffee is up 14% in one year. Bread is up 15% and the butter on the bread is up 17%. Our inflation rate is near a 40-year high. French farmers decorated a McDonald's branch with cow dung and made it clear where the globalist club should finally go. Namely to hell. Monday 5th of February the French farmers are now removing their blockades after the government has given in to their demands. The French farmers have won. Monday 5th of February American leaders sign World Economic Forum Treaty to ration meat, electricity and gas. G. The real news for Monday February 5, 2024, Monday 5th of February chemtrails, a global conspiracy threatening mind and body health, chemtrails are globally being done, gov sanctioned. Why, nobody knows, Monday 5th of February pro-nuclear documentary warns of America for Geel Electrical Grid. Monday 5th of February El Salvador, El Salvador's re-elected President Nayib Bukele is impressive. 
He did the impossible and cleaned up a lot of the gangs such as Barrio 18 and MS-13 that has terrorized the country. 7,000 soldiers and 1,000 police officers were activated in the Cabanas, as well as the country's northern border with Honduras. They have arrested more than 66,000 suspected gang members. They enacted new laws to allow mass trials of gang members in groups of up to 900 and raised the maximum prison sentence for gang leaders from 45 to 60 years. This is what law and order looks like. Monday 5th of February House Speaker Mike Johnson doesn't think Biden is in charge, Sunday 4th of February. Breaking news, Tucker Carlson has arrived in Moscow, Russia, to interview President Vladimir Putin. Monday 5th of February bombshell, Tucker Carlson's exclusive interview with Vladimir Putin in Moscow, full transcript released. Israel, General Flynn states that when Hamas attacked Gaza, there was a decision made to have a security stand down, on the 7th of October, for seven hours. Netanyahu must be removed. And looks like that's the consensus. Monday 5th of February California, nearly one million without power as powerful storm strikes the California coast. Currently, nearly 900,000 California residences are without power as strong winds associated with the powerful atmospheric river event hit the state. California has declared a state of emergency as winds could produce hurricane force gusts exceeding 60 miles per hour at the coastline, with gusts of 80 to 100 miles per hour in coastal mountain areas. Major to life-threatening flooding is possible along the southern slopes of the mountains in Southern California, as the storm could also produce powerful waves along the coastline. New Los Angeles, extremely dangerous situation unfolding in the Hollywood Hills area and around the Santa Monica Mountains, double exclamation mark. Life-threatening landslides and additional flash flooding expected overnight tonight. Avoid travel if at all possible. Monday 5th of February Southern California is getting obliterated by torrential rain causing flash flood warnings. The storm even caused a sea foam storm where strong winds blew foam onto people standing on the shore. The storm was thanks to an atmospheric river which is relatively long, narrow regions in the atmosphere that transport most of the water vapor outside of the tropics. NOAA the average atmospheric river carries the equivalent amount of water as the average flow at the mouth of the Mississippi River. Monday 5th of February the U.S. Senate has voted for funding again for Israel and Ukraine. All that's left is Biden to sign and send out payments. In this bill nothing will go to U.S. citizens or Americans only foreigners, except, of course, the money that's laundered back into Biden in the legislators' pockets. Money laundering politicians, Iran equals Obama sends $150 billion in cash to Iran before leaving office in 2016. John Kerry's daughter is married to an Iranian national. Ukraine equals Hunter Biden slash Joe Biden dealings and corruption, stealing millions from American taxpayers to funnel money to Ukraine. Nancy Pelosi's son Paul sits on the board of a Ukrainian energy company. Romney's son does too. John Kerry's son. Biden's son. Now you know why we're helping Ukraine and why Pelosi is still here. Having fun yet? The tentacles of Ukraine corruption capture Kofor Black of Bush's 9-11 cabinet, Obama, Biden, Soros, Schiff, Pelosi, Bolton, John Kerry, Romney, and the Clintons. New Zealand, politician and lawyer, Liz Gunn, calls for New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to be forced to return to NZ with her passport held. According to Mike Johnson. This radical spending is the result of deals that were made prior to him taking the reins. Here's what the people pushing this deal aren't telling you, it accepts 5,000 illegal immigrants a day and gives automatic work permits to asylum recipients, a magnet for more illegal immigration. $60 billion to Ukraine, $14.1 billion to Israel, $10 billion in humanitarian assistance to Israel, $2 billion to support U.S. Central Ops Command in Red Sea, $20 billion for the U.S. border. $2.3 billion for refugee resettlement in the U.S. Monday 5th of February Crisis at the Border, 60-minute documentary How to Guide Migrants to Come to the U.S. Illegally. Get a Visa for Mexico. A Day's Walk to Big Bend National Park. A TikToker slash migrants will send you to a clean tunnel for $300. Welcome to America, free health care, free education if you're an immigrant, get a job and monthly benefit income from U.S. government. Source, 60-minute documentary that says, We do not condone any actions of illegal activity and we are just interpreting what is already available in on World Wide Web for education purposes. 
Monday 5th of February border crisis, the razor wire that Texas has put up at a park on the border with Mexico has resulted in a massive reduction in migrant crossings in the area, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said. Abbott, who has had an ongoing feud with the Biden administration over illegal crossings at the border, said that the governors of other states are rallying around Texas to support our ongoing right to self-defense. And the deployment of this razor wire that has led to a massive reduction in inflow. The area where we have occupied this park in Eagle Pass, Texas, that we put up the razor wire, there used to be 3,000 or 4,000 people crossing that area a day. L. Wars and Rumors of Wars In 2016, Victoria Nuland told Congress that U.S. advisors serve in 12 Ukrainian ministries, U.S. trained police operate in 18 Ukrainian cities, the U.S. Treasury helped close 60 Ukrainian banks. And the U.S. spent $266 million on training Ukrainian soldiers. Who is this war really between? Russia and Ukraine. Or Russia and the U.S. E. Deep State. M. Monday 5th of February Update Ken and Barbie vs. Goliath IRS During a now six year court battle with the IRS, Ken and Barbara Cromar won their case in a federal tax court that they owed no monies to the IRS. After which the IRS sent two different SWAT teams that on two occasions took away Ken and Barbara Cromar's fully paid for home and threw away all their possessions including expensive camera equipment Ken used to make a living. Now Ken is sitting in jail on charges he lived in his own home and used his own possessions. The Goliath IRS admitted that Barbie and Ken were never sent any notices of deficiency and that the IRS had ever made any determination of a tax liability for Barbie and Ken. As such, the U.S. tax court had no jurisdiction over Barbie and Ken. This lack of jurisdiction means that everything done to Barbie and Ken including the seizure of their home for an unpaid tax debt, the auctioning off of their home on the courthouse steps, and their six-year legal battle to protect themselves, their home and reputation, life, liberty and pursuit of happiness, has been an unlawful attempt by the DOJ to deny Barbie and Ken of their God-given, constitutional rights. Furthermore. The IRS admitted that the dismissal of the case against Barbie and Ken was because the IRS had not issued Barbie and Ken a notice of deficiency or a notice of determination before or at the time Barbie and Ken filed their petition on April 2, 2021. An admission that Barbie and Ken did not and never DIDO any taxes for the tax years 1990 through 2020. Then in a typical act of sour grapes, the IRS threatened Barbie and Ken with a penalty if they ever filed a similar petition, complaint against the IRS. Okay, you won, but if you try this again, we will beat up. In the United States Tax Court, Petitioner, Barbara Ann Cromar vs. the Commissioner of Internal Revenue, Respondent. Barbara Cromar demanded in her petition filed in the U.S. Tax Court on April 2, 2021, that the IRS provide copies of, any and all, the deficiency notices, sent to the Cromars, alleging deficiencies or the non-payment of taxes for the years 1990 through 2020. In response, on May 26, 2021, Rebecca A. Myers, Associate Area Counsel for the Respondent, Commissioner of Internal Revenue, filed a motion to dismiss for Barbara. Our globalist agenda, Bill Gates wants to block out the sun in order to help with climate change, by dispersing nanoparticles into the stratosphere. How is this dim the sun technology different from chemtrails? The process seems to be exactly the same as we are seeing in our skies every day, but no one questions what they see in the skies. Most people think that those are from the commercial airlines. Watch what happens after a couple of hours of spraying, the weather turns from sunny to cloudy and you feel weird from the poison you are breathing. It looks like a grayish, cloudy layer that gets stuck there, it neither rains nor it gets more or less cloudy. Now the real question what critical thinkers should ask? Why in the world does Billy want to block out the sun if the supposed global warming or climate change is driven by human activity and carbon emissions? For a smart person, either he has a wisdom of a goldfish, or there is something much more sinister behind it, it's up to you to decide. S. Monday 5th of February Charlie Ward, we should begin to see the below list flowing out in the soon coming immediate future. There are other events that are important such as the stock market crash, EBS and the new financial system. I have chosen not to include them in the list below, but those things are coming and we should pay attention to real events that are about to and very soon begin to unfold. Hold the line and stay steady. Lock your faith into the Word of God. What is about to happen is biblical and we should understand that. See you on the other side. The other side is the promised land. Are you truly ready? Locked and loaded. As I see it, 
We are waiting for some public announcements to come forth including the following. 1. Public announcement of the USN on the gold and asset standard. 2. Public announcement of the new USN notes money supply. 3. Public announcement of USN bills paid. A. Iraq has a trust problem with the US. B. They need to see items 1 to 2 and 3 above publicly announced so they can go forward. 4. Public announcement of the new Iraq international dinar rate. 5. Public announcement of the new Iraq international data rate published in the Gazette 6. Public announcement of Nizera 7. Public announcement of Gusira 8. Public announcement of Biden gone 9. Public announcement of Trump's return. 10. Private announcement of RV notifications including 800 numbers and Starlink K. Private announcement of Tier 3 liquidity and spendable. Private announcement for liquidity of all tiers. 11. Public announcement of the following. A. Social security increase and change of system B. Reclamation monies. C. Debt forgiveness jubilee. D. Other funds is applicable. You have you heard of the Lucas Trust? It was established in 1922 by Freemasons Alice and Foster Bailey and was originally called Lucifer Publishing Company. Its name was changed because it revealed the true nature of the Satanic New Age movement and caused public outrage. The Lucas Trust original address was 666 United Nations Plaza. Alice was a writer and is regarded by New Agers and occultists as one of the prophetesses of the New Age movement. She lived between 1880 and 1949. She wrote the 10 rules for the United Nations for their new world order. V Red Pill Alert, Short History of the Q and QAnon Movement 99 years later the Q movement took on a more formal appearance with the deep state banking cabal's murder of President Kennedy in 1964. It was 46 years from there when military action for the Q movement alliance started in earnest in 2012. Their first major event took three years in the making and culminated with the arrest of Hillary Clinton for treason on September 11, 2016. They executed her at Gitmo in 2018. Meanwhile in 2016 the alliance made sure Donald Trump was elected U.S. president despite widespread voter fraud by the Democrat Party in collusion with foreign powers, including the Chinese Communist Party. Later in 2017 Trump was on a world tour to form the Worldwide Alliance. In that same release Charles' brother Andrew surfaced in an email from one of the victims that showed a child sex tape filmed by Epstein himself. On twos. 13th of February Biden disappeared on vacation as DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was impeached by the House of Representatives for refusing to secure the border. Twos. 13th of February the Khazarian Mafia, Ashkenazi Jews, were starting to show their faces and this Azov battalion was pushing for war with Russia twos. 13th of February King Charles III diagnosed with cancer, according to Buckingham Palace. 2's. 13th of February Planned Parenthood faces $1.6 billion federal trial for selling baby body parts. 2's. 13th of February former U.S. Secretary of State and CIA Director Mike Pompeo danced with Israeli soldiers near Gaza border. 2's. 13th of February Elon Musk says passing a basic cognitive test should not be optional for someone who controls the nuclear football. U.S. President DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas has been impeached by the House of Representatives for refusing to secure the border. It was a 214 to 213 vote with Buck, Gallagher, and McClintock once again being the three Republicans who voted against. Super Bowl full of satanic symbolism, twos. 13th of February Situation Update, Judy Byington, unredacted, green light by President Trump, just signed Nizera slash Jazara. It's go time. Special Intel Report February 13, 2024. A global currency reset, rumor was that all monies for the global currency reset have been released and it was a green for go. Twos. 13th of February Rod Steele, things are moving. It was supposed to have happened on Monday 12th of February. Duty note, liquidity did begin on Monday 12th of February according to Rubain Baz reporting on the Imperial Ancient Chinese Golden Dragon family which owned the gold backing the reset. Iran revalues same time as Iraq. The Iranian militia have not agreed to the revalue and they keep bombing the US bases in Iraq. We got into a pushing match with higher ups in the groups that now want more dollar, supposed to be good guys but they're still greedy. That set us back at 48 hours, they really want this started by February 15th, Admiral's group started in Reno on February 4th. 
the larger humanitarian groups, up to 3 million in size, are going first. There's roughly 12 million currency holders worldwide, some whales in Spain and South America and other countries are under NDAs already, the CBI has sent the new rates to the Iraqi government. Med beds are to be available right after the RV, 50,000 just in the US. In 8,200 locations cross country. Beds have been in existence since the 50s, new quantum system only recognizes gold back notes, out since January 25th. Restitution payments should begin right after the RV, take everything you have to RV. Over 10,000 RV centers in US, something good could happen tonight twos. 13th of February. Twos. 13th of February Mark Z, right now there is a lot of pressure to not share any group details and bond details. It appears to be at that level of close. I agree that details should be avoided now to keep folks off the roller coaster, but things remain overwhelmingly positive. We are hearing more and more bank stories and militiamen knocked it out of the park recently. We got another bank story overnight from a wealth manager who is reaching out to clients saying it is time get everything prepared. He means to get currency together and make certain they have IDs updated if needed. He says they are at any moment now, to me this is really encouraging as a lot of these stories are from bank personnel who used to say. It's a scam don't do it when asked about buy foreign currency. Now they are telling me you were right all along and get prepared, just remember we will not know the exact timing or the when until it actually happens. But they are now openly preparing many of their clients. We are hearing more and more repeat stories about this, but we are being leaned on hard to not share details right now. Twos. February 13, 2024 Bruce, as reported by Sue, the big call, their number one Iraqi contact in the US received a text on twos. 13th of February with a picture of a thumbs up for Wednesday 14th of February.